Boom. Okay, we're live. Okay, so this will work now. Uh, that sucked. <laughs> okay, <laughs> boom. And of course... God damn it! Ah. <laughs> uh. It still faded <laughs> off without. I I told it not to, and it did it anyway. The music was not supposed to. There it, it is. It just gets worse every time. Look. <laughs> I put this show together like an hour ago. <laughs> I uh, uh, I should have I should have put. Hey, welcome to a special anniversary edition of the line. It is our three year anniversary today. This channel started three years ago when Matt Dillahunty and I did an episode of what back then was just called the line. It wasn't even called the Sunday Show. It was just called the line. The show was called, and now the line has become a network with several shows. I'm Jimmy Snow. Well, uh, joined today by some of my favorite people in the whole world, Matt Dillahunty, Arden Hart, Forrest Valkai, Godless Engineer, Student Doctor Ben, and Aaron Ra. Uh, and I'm just going to do the entire show like this. There's nothing to see here. Okay, here's the preempt. Please do. I'm just going to tell everybody I'm about to pull my hood off, and you might think, wait, this is sort of like an unsolicited nude because you might think you're looking at a testicle, but it's not a testicle. It's my head. Uh, here we go, everyone. We hit 250 so patrons. Good. We actually flew past 250. I think we're at like 290 or something like that. Uh, and so the the promise has been kept. Promises made, promises kept. Uh, the the hair came off. The beard sides came off. Uh, oh, you're right. I do need to switch to glasses. We'll do it for the Sunday show. I'll shave one more time right before the Sunday show. I'll I'll take this all the way down to skin again because it's already starting to darken up uh, for the Sunday show. And that's when Matt and I will have our side by side, and it'll be just a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, Did you screw up and restart the show three who became times? A patron. I restarted the show once. Did you screw up and restart the show three times because it's Groundhog's Day? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yes, that must be why. Uh, yeah, that's yes. Okay, anyway, we're going to play games tonight, and we are going to... So here's the deal. Usually, we do shows, and we did this on Christmas and... Um, uh, 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 New Year's, where we let people call in and they could still call in to debate us about whatever. None of us want to do that, I, unless I'm wrong. Is anybody Correct. here tonight because they want to have a debate? I don't fucking no. think so. No. So we're gonna no, no. we're gonna open lines, and if you want to call and tell us your favorite moment on the line, if there's a specific thing you remember or there's a specific thing you like this is going to be the only show we ever do this essentially the closest to you're allowed to call and compliment us and reminisce with us will allow it what this time uh i don't want it to be very hyper specific like make it about the show don't don't make us feel too weird uh uh and uh, but you can call in and say like man i love the way transatlantic call-in show is the best show on the channel uh i love the way whatever 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 you can you can you can call in and say what up um anyway this is what yes, i sir. look like now <laughs> a testicle Got it. I, I, yeah. I didn't want to ruin your flow because, you know, we wanted to, to get off the start, but I, I need to go change real quick because despite picking the snake that hadn't eaten in two weeks to avoid mm -hmm. getting pooped on, I just got pooped on. So I, I'm going to be right back. <laughs> yes, go ahead and go ahead and take care of that. We'll, uh, we'll hold things down here. Now, the, as far as games today, uh, don't worry. It's not going to be this big old screen. We're going to play some Jackbox games together. Um, and so let me come to this now. You can actually join as the audience. I don't know if we have to start the game first before you can. Is that how it works? No, I think that they can join. They can join while we're still waiting. They'll just be waiting with us, I believe. Yeah. Because yeah. Because right now it's going to ask for a password unless uh, join. Okay. Yeah. So you can go ahead and type in. Go to Jackbox.tv and type in KBNC and then join as an audience member. And basically, as the audience, you'll be able to participate 
in voting for the winners of these games. Today's game was suggested by Ben. We might change games at one, some point, but uh, uh, Ben, I think, was completely correct that this sounds right up our alley. We'll let the game explain how it all works and stuff. Um, this is the I game's I do like music. how, like... Oh, man, wait. Looking at the, the, the screen here, like... I took a picture, you took a picture, Ben took a picture. You can't tell, but I'm pretty sure Aaron took a picture too. Like that's that's him, right? That's exactly <laughs> there you like go. Yes. Sock puppet Aaron, I love that. I love that. Uh and anybody who knows John already <laughs> knew who Whale Peen was. It did not have yeah. to be uh it did not have to be explained. Uh so for the record. <laughs> I, I just called into the show and spoke to the call strainer because I was going to be the first caller to say that Transatlantic call and show is the best show on the network. Uh, unfortunately, I got disconnected. So I don't know if the call screener hung up on me or if somebody else <laughs> clicked the button to drop me. But good oh, job. Uh, I didn't. I, I would have. <laughs> I would have let you on. That's right. <laughs> I, I am. I'm the trolliest troll in Trollville. I'm going to get like a, a Discord thing. This is a different type of show. What type? Oh. Yeah, no debates, just people sharing wholesome favorite moments or something. Yeah, basically, I have to fulfill the promise that every show will have a call-in element to it. Is my oh Man, I feel like I've tried to hide so much about my head from the side for so long, and now it's just, <laughs> it's just accentuated. We should... We should take one debate call. Call in and have seven people who do this professionally <laughs> scream at you all at the same time. <laughs> sound like that. It'll sound exactly like that. Uh, yeah, just like that. I'll be saying I've been practicing my no, 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 <laughs> no. You're done. That's I've been practicing for in in the mirror. I'm not even kidding. I I know I have to do it at least once on the Sunday show. Uh, all right. I can't wait for you to try it. <laughs> I'm going to try it. I'm going to probably try doing it at the same time as you. You're going to, you're going to forget that I'm waiting and then you're going to start doing some no, no, no's and I'm going to join in with it. Well, it'll be a oh, choir. Of no, no. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to wait for you to do it. And then I'm going to no, 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 you're done over the top of your no, 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 you're done. <laughs> to you. There we go. It's going to be good. Uh, <clears throat> As much as I love that there are 69 people, oh, we went down to 68 in the audience. Again, you can join and basically participate in voting who will win. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I can't. Matt put in his information quickest. So Matt actually determines who, when the game begins uh, by clicking start game. And here it goes. I'm going to turn the show, the game audio on Welcome to so we can points. hear the explanation. What an exciting lineup. Let's get things going. First, you're going to create original speech titles for each other. Okay. I don't know what that means. Oh, so, okay. So you're writing a, a speech that someone else is going to have to give. Okay. Where did my... Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, we have to do a couple of them. Okay. Ah, oh, whale peen is done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. And then it's going to give each of us three different think, titles to choose from Aaron, and do then you, Aaron, do you know that you're meant to be filling out something on your screen uh, where you were in the game and now we can't hear Aaron. he, he muted because yeah, of his he, dogs he doesn't know he has to have a microphone yeah and you've only yeah, got like sorry. 18 you know, seconds no, I, left. Didn't know I, was, I didn't know that i was supposed to be filling something out somebody else was talking to me so fill so in the blanks for those three questions as quickly as you can you have 10 seconds nine eight Seven. I think oh, he's no. probably going to get the default answers. Are gonna, probably going to get popped in there uh, this time. But I have we'll, no idea what's going on anymore. We'll shout at you next time. Make sure you know <laughs> you've got the browser up with the Jackbox game, right? Yes. Okay. So right now it should be asking you to pick a title, and you should click one of them. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> Very interest, intrigued. So then Matt's going to be the first speaker, and then Arden's the assistant. So then Arden has to pick oh, wow. the pictures that go onto the slides for Matt. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> this is... I have a button here that says Out skip loud? tutorial. Okay. But don't, don't, because we don't know how it goes. Yeah. You see a picture right. slide? Right. Everybody all else knows what it's supposed to do. Sense. Also, you can draw You're and just type giving on a slides. Speech. You can draw Please and type on the slides if you want, but you don't need to. Everyone else needs to, to vote while the speech is going, so it's by engagement. So the more you click on the buttons to say yes or no, you liked it or not, that's going to give Matt points. So stay engaged on your button. Yes. So right now, Arden is picking things, and at some point, it's going to ask Matt to give a speech, Intro? right? Speech time. They haven't yep. actually given me the option just, yet, but I'm guessing yeah. that's what I'm waiting on. Sure. Every time you mute the tutorial, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. That, that's what I'm trying to figure out is should I listen <laughs> to you guys or should I listen to the tutorial? So we're going to say like the to first to the round doesn't but at count. At this point, I should just click the button on my fucking screen that says skip tutorial. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> that's it. It'll be over before you know it. Assistant, <laughs> go ahead and start. Okay, so the assistant like, should be like. picking stuff right now. Yes, yes. Hello, my name is Matt D, and my talk is why I deserve all the hate speech. When I was a child, I had the opportunity to go to a specialized school, but instead, I hated everybody else in my classroom, not because they were weaker than me, but because they were black or trans or uh, non-believers or all the things that God would tell me was wrong. Since I've grown up, I managed to depart from those terrible religious ways and maintain my hateful thoughts about all of those groups. I can tell you how to do it as well. All you have to do is abandon rationality, just like the theists do, but pretend that you've managed to stay slightly rational. Now, I have some slides here. <laughs> Going up is the lie. So you think if you engage with people in an honest fashion, you're going to succeed in life as if elevated to a higher plateau. But the truth is, there's all these little peons down below you slinging their hate speech like little bullets to pop each one of those balloons and you deserve it the same way i do now what the data is telling us is obvious we are nothing but primates we deserve hate speech because of the poo we fling on a regular basis thank you <laughs> yo that was incredible that was great Beautiful. Beautiful. that was my prompt <laughs> <laughs> did he play it right? Because we have no idea if he even did it right. You know how many times people hit buttons. And the other half comes from the peaks and the valleys of the graph. The qualitative judgment. Put it together and that's your score. And don't forget, the assistant gets points too. While the speech is still fresh in your mind, let's fill out the comments. Now I have to write card. comments. <laughs> what the hell is going on? So now we're all writing comments on the thing, in the game thing, in response to Matt's speech. Oh, I had to rate how well Arden assisted me. So basically, I, I gave Arden a, a yes, no, or meh vote. <laughs> Better be a yes. <laughs> <laughs> this game I is, can't remember. This game is chaos. Oh, it's so fun, though. Here we go with the next speaker. Oh, it's me, assisted by Ben. Oh, oh no, no, it's, it's, uh, is Arden able to actually see the game now? Everyone should see the game. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I just see talking points on my screen. Uh, on the Vmix window? There we go. Hello, everybody. Uh, I am Jimmy Snow. That's right, the Jimmy Snow. And welcome to my TED Talk, which today is obviously on... A personality test I took, and here's the thing. It told me that I, Jimmy Snow, am better than you. Now, that might sound very abrasive at first, but give me a moment. Let's think about strength. Is strength 
what <laughs> what we usually associate it with, or does it have more to do with the dexterity of your fingers? Well, when I ask my girlfriends of the past, they say the finger thing wins every time. And so I, I, I'd like to present that perhaps you could be better than me if only you knew where the clitoris was. That's what the soccer ball represents in this slide, the clitoris. Now, I will tell you, <laughs> knowing that I'm better than everyone at fingering comes with a very terrible price. <laughs> I can never live up to something better. It's like I'm always trying to be better, but how do you be better than yourself when you are the best? I'll tell you one thing you don't do. You don't consult astrology, except when looking for sexual ideas. Because if you look, you'll notice every one of these symbols represents something you can do in the bedroom. That's a straight up 69 right there. No one else sees the 69. That's the only usefulness of astrology. At least that's what I thought. But then everything I believe changed. And I'm very excited to tell you how. I buried my head in the sand and decided, hey, Jimmy, who cares if astrology is a method of inherent discrimination? Who cares if it has all of these problems? Those are only problems if you listen and if you look and sometimes if you smell because people who like astrology tend to smell like sage and shit like that. So all I had to do was bury myself in the sand and suddenly astrology was okay. I'm better at fingering than you are. I'm Jimmy Snow. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, I mean, art. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everybody. Not, I feel like I, <laughs> I, I want more points. Woo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, I'm gonna give Ben an, a, a smiley because it was, it was Ben G -E. gave me G E was your assistant. Oh, whale peen. You're right. You're right. I, I, it's hard because I is student Dr. Benus and whale peen have similar sounds. <laughs> thank you, thank you for giving me the astrology opportunity. I genuinely. <laughs> I like that. Let me see what, what's happening in the chat. Is <laughs> so if we can get Aaron to be on the Jackbox TV in the game looking at it. What do you see on your Jackbox TV screen? Uh, Jack, I, I see talking points. That's it. Just big you know, orange screen says talking points. Okay. Stay on that mm. screen. Yes. If it, We'll see if it does anything once we update. Because if you didn't put in right. possible, like do you have a, an a up hand, down hand now? Yes. Forest is up. Okay. All you got to do is if you like what the speaker is saying, you click the up as much as you want. If you don't like what the speaker <laughs> is saying, you click over. the down as much. And, yes, this is Forrest's turn. Go, Forrest. Go, it's go, go. Cool. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm Forrest, and as a former Waffle Out employee, this is what they don't want the customers to know. The first thing you need to know is that the waffles are genetically modified. The, the, the waffles are tasting you as much as you are tasting them. And oh. while really this shouldn't be a surprise to anybody, anybody who's eaten there knows that not only is the food not good, but it's also not safe, and it is also mostly crickets. <laughs> but really, the level to which they have taken their, their, their contamination, their, their degeneration of all that is natural and normal to make these waffles what they are goes beyond what you might expect. But I was really unprepared for the most shocking twist. I knew about the, 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 the corrupted waffles. I knew about the man living beneath the fryer. But what I didn't know was that they burned the people who choked to death on the sausages in the garbage can out back in order to make more sausages. This is where they do the roasting. This is where they get the meat. And honestly, can we say that we're surprised? Have you ever felt safe? in a Waffle House? Have you ever felt loved or enjoyed in a Waffle House? Have you ever not found a rodent in your coffee at a Waffle House? I know I haven't. And it all comes down to the fact that there's only one thing that we can do to preserve our future. And, and, and when I tell it to you, it's going to all come together. It's going to make sense. What we can do is begin the process of 
transplanting our brains into puppets so that we no longer have to survive on food. Have you ever seen a Muppet trying to eat? The food just gums up and then falls out the sides of their mouth. And they are still it's alive and, and they're, they're getting the sustenance they need without actually having to ingest anything. If we need Waffle House to live as we all do, then we need to avoid actually eating it so that we do not incur the genetic and honestly the ethical ramifications of eating at a goddamn Waffle House. And with that, I'm a horse. Thank you so much for listening to my talk. I feel like the person who picked the slides deserves as many points as you got there. Those slides it was were me. so no, 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 good. Perfect. Those perfect, are, man. Those are so good. Damn. Uh, it's too bad that this is mostly the finding out how the game works round. Yeah. Right. Yeah, once you play through once, it, it um, kind of makes sense. Ben, I gave you a smiley face. Oh, I appreciate it. I saw the DNA in the pill, and I was like, oh, this is Forrest. I have to. Mm -hmm. I have to use this. Picture. 100%. 100%. <laughs> As someone who used to frequent Waffle Houses, All right, so, nobody deserves uh -oh. it. Aaron, it's your turn to give us like, a speech. Basically, based on what you see on the show, on the screen... You're going to respond you're, as though this is your speech to give, and you should start now. Hello, my name is Aaron Ra, and my talk is... Now what? There's, there's a timer. Going. It's going to change. It's going to change. Yep. Yeah. Despite all their tech wizardry, Silicon Valley still cannot cure my diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> this is your first slide. <laughs> So you gotta work this slide into your speech. Yeah, how the fuck? No, it doesn't come out there. <laughs> All right, that's the point. You gotta be creative. <laughs> come on, Art. Right. You, got, you got eleven seconds with this slide. Okay, so you've got a, you've got a number of pulsations happening. They don't usually come out of your shoulder, but you know the pulsations that I'm talking about. You're 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 like at a business meeting, or you're maybe you're just walking down the sidewalk. That's the worst place for this to happen. Like the mighty oak growing from a hum humble acorn. Here's a small but important fact. Now give the My fact. I'm giving you gold close. with this picture. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what it's like when you're standing in the McDonald's and you need to use the shitter. But you know what? There's somebody in it. And there's only one stall. So you stand and you cross your butt cheeks and clench like <laughs> life depends on it because the place is full of people. You can't even sit down without your butt exploding. And you know where you're going. It's not going to be a solid one that you might be able to walk off. No, this is going to cascade down the sides of your legs. This is going to wet your pants all the way to the floor. And no one will, no one will suspect. Hey, what can be done about this? <laughs> All right, you gotta keep a straight face. Came up behind me. <laughs> All right, and I'm done. Oops, now I've done it. Oh my god, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's calling me out for least engaged. I was shouting at him. I was very engaged. I got pulled out on that speech because I didn't think anything either. I was almost crying. That was so funny. Sorry, this is the first time I've ever done this. No, it's all of our first time, but yeah, no worries. No worries. I, we've played other Jackbox stuff before, but uh, I've never played this game. This is Ben's I think idea. I'm the only one that's yeah. played this one. Yeah. yeah. I have all the Jackbox party packs. I don't. I think I've played this maybe once. I, I had to look up what it was to remember what the hell's going on. Yeah, I, I have up. Yeah, to I nine. scream it quite frequently because it's so fun. No, do you? I my favorite is yeah. Quiplash. If we want, once we do a couple rounds of this, we could uh, we could one. we could go to Quiplash. I'm always Fuck. down. Always down for Quiplash. Up. Or all image. right, G's up. <laughs> Matt's gonna control the slides. Oh shit. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Whalepeen, and my talk is going to be a very interesting one that you want to listen to, and point number four is going to be very important, uh, but really, it, tr true to life, my house is full of beefy husbands. I can't tell you how great it is to have a bunch of beefy husbands to do all the beekeeping in my backyard. 
We have so <laughs> many beehives. And with, you know, honey, you can put it in nearly anything. Like your, you put it in coffee maybe, your cereal. But really the important factor here is the beefy husbands that collect it in their bee suits. Uh, you also got that one crazy beefy husband that thinks, I don't need a bee suit. And he goes out there and he gets stung to shit. But uh, really it's all the agony that is worked into the, the, the honey. I share this uh, next thing because I considered everyone here except for one of you, <laughs> a friend. <laughs> I think we all know who that person is, as you can tell by this picture. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, I am the I'm the one that's very angry and telling this person they need to get off of my shit about all these beefy husbands doing my beekeeping for me. Also, I'm not sure if y'all noticed, but Arn Ra has a huge fucking snake down there. <laughs> but also, the beefy husbands. Um, the, what does the future look like for the beefy husbands? Well. We have several rooms here at the complex, and uh, we are producing a line of beefy husband uh, <laughs> honey, and uh, we're going to win awards for it. I'm not sure what awards they give out for honey and, and having beefy husbands like come in and, and collect the honey, but we are going to win those awards. Maybe it's who can, who can get the award the, or, or get the honey the fastest, and then I'm going to award the beefy husband, and then that beefy husband can sleep in the bed that night. And, uh, <laughs> and he, he will be overjoyed by it. Thank you for my talk on beefy husband honeys. So honey. Aaron, uh, hu honey. Aaron, just so you know, when oh. someone's giving a speech, there's a th like a thumbs up, thumbs down in front of you. And basically, if they make you laugh or something, you click thumbs up if they and then you, you thumbs down when uh, uh, if you're like, right. oh, I don't know. This is a stretch. Uh, <laughs> like, like when I was sad that Matt did not was... at all address the woman with the pot on her head in the background. I, I, oh, yes. my God. I was astounded that you went for the husbands keeping the bees and not like I'm the queen and I have all these husband workers. No, you're, you're <laughs> harvesting honey to help your beefy husbands. <laughs> you know what's I mean, funny? I actually wrote one of those things that I wrote at the very beginning of this. So, you know, I punked myself. <laughs> what's the first three letters of beefy? Oh, shit. Nice. Nice. We I got know, a brand I deal and everything. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, fuck. Type Jimmy's thing. my assistant. This is going to be terrible. All right, here we go. Hello, my name is Stu DeBenis, and my talk is how masturbation improved my productivity and made me immortal. So I don't know if you all know, but I'm a trans man. And the only reason I started testosterone was to be horny as fuck all day and to have hair like Bob Ross, okay? My dream self is Bob Ross masturbating all day, every day, because why have sex with somebody else and have to go through the agony of another human when you can just handle it on your own? So, you know, productivity, I can get it done in like half the time probably and multiple times versus somebody else can't even, can't even find the right spot, okay? I don't know. like. Trans guys, at least we know where it is, okay? How was I supposed to know? This whole time, I was falling in love with myself, okay? <laughs> I hate people. I, I'm not sure what else I need to tell you about that. But see, this is me. This is all you other cis guys and your inability to have sex with anybody uh, that is, you know, outside of anatomy you're familiar with. And uh, so that's why I'd rather just, I'd rather just do it on my own. I am the god king of masturbation, and I know Jimmy will come back and say that I'm not, but I am free to disagree with him. In an ideal world, we could have this. We could have bugs, all right? <laughs> Some people, especially <laughs> cis dudes, I'm not calling out every cis dude in this room, but cis dudes are, are fucking gross, and y'all get bugs in places, and I don't know a single trans guy that has had sex with, with bugs crawling all over them, okay? I, I don't know. I'm not saying that all cis guys are gross. I'm just saying that maybe some cis guys are actually gross and, and have bugs. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Those were stink bugs, by the way. <laughs> they were oh, not. Oh, yeah. Did you say they were not? <laughs> no, those are called St. Andrew's cotton stainers. 
Oh, no I, joke. I thought they were stink bugs. Because you shit your pants when you Although see them. Although if you've if you've <laughs> never had fucking bug sex, you're missing out. <laughs> did, did I get the word for least engaged? Uh, I think, no word. Think Aaron did. Oh, it was whoever this. Yeah, it was the sock puppet. Yep, Aaron got least engaged. That's just not even fair. I just want to draw attention to calling me a boomer, telling me I got no 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 idea what's going on. I can't even argue. I am a boomer, and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I I never <laughs> use the word boomer. See, and, and I made the cutoff because I'm Gen X, even though we're apparently very close to the same age. There we go. Yeah. I just want to like the, right? the the one yeah, okay. sentence okay. in that. Aaron, 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 so Aaron. Wait, wait, for it. Aaron, Aaron, you are Aaron. Aaron, now. Aaron. Oh, sorry. Aaron, you got to come back. The screen is going to ask you to pick <laughs> things for Arden to give a speech on. Okay. It, it's starting. It should be popping that up in front of you now. Okay. And uh, it's going to keep changing. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, uh, my name is Arden, and today I'm here to give you guys a talk about how Whale Peen, our friend here, Whale Peen, is the ultimate <laughs> dining experience. <laughs> Um, I didn't read the second half of the sentence, so I'm really sorry to Whale Peen. I don't know if you're just learning that we're going to eat you tonight, but I am just learning this. <laughs> I am so sorry. I don't support cannibalism. Please don't cancel me. Um, so how is Whale Peen? Uh, wait, how, how, well, how Whale Peen is the most ultimate dining experience? Well, this is really simple. There is never an occasion to get dressed up like three wrinkly dogs, like when you're eating Whale Peen. And... <laughs> I don't know about you, but that leopard print jacket looks fucking awesome. I wish I had that. But, you know, as the saying goes, the opposite is also true. That's, I'm pretty sure that's a saying. I've heard that before somewhere. And sometimes <laughs> the ultimate dining experience is finding a cup larger than your body that you can swim in. Like, you are the tea bag. Um, you are the tea bagger. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Um, sometimes people think it's immature to teabag, but I, for one, think it's actually part of the ultimate dining experience is to, to gently lay your testicles on someone over and over again, up and down. Um, so, uh, thank you for your time, uh, and thank you for this wonderful opportunity to tell you about why eating our friend Whale Peen here will lead to teabagging. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> To demonstrate, to demonstrate this, we have a simple schedule on the clock for you. <laughs> on the bottom is yes, and that's eating well for you. And on the top is no. As you can see, we pretty consistently throughout the dinner eat whale peen. Uh, there's a small point at the end where you consider if that was actually a good decision, if maybe you should stop and it never should have happened in the first place. But then you go back to being happy about eating whale peen. And uh, that's it. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> That's been my general experience. Too, I've so never, works. <laughs> I've never been more sold on cannibalism and teabagging. <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's my goal. You want you want least engage that round, Matt? You'd asked. Cool. That was my goal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Aaron did an excellent job. Smiley face for you. Well, thank you very much for that. <laughs> I, uh, this boa has a tiny little mustache. Do you see it? You don't realize how small your Wrong. window is. You are <laughs> you are one uh, uh, sixteenth of our screen right now. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure it's a he beautiful has a tiny mustache. Little Gomez mustache. Ah. All right. There we go. Damn it. So then, nice. well, there's still there's there's still more time for points. So. We each have to make an award. We have to name an oh, award, yeah. and then we're going to give it out to somebody. So everybody, fill in the um, fill in the blank. Aaron, you should be filling in a blank right now on your screen. Fill in the blank. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's so sweet of you, Jack O'Rourke. I definitely did not win. <clears throat> Damn, Venus. <clears throat> One hundred eighty-two thousand. <laughs> The trans vote has come out to play. <laughs> it's because like I had to try so hard to refrain from talking about my actual genitals on a show. <laughs> this is affirmative action in place, okay? Look. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so now we're going to vote on awards? From this? Oh, yeah. Let's... It's, oh, these are the these were the comments. <laughs> the comments. <laughs> Got it. Took us, oh my god! Like you're you're ready. Ready. It made me horny. <laughs> anything at all about the talk? The foot picture sold it. Uh, Muppet transplant incoming. I'm kind of hungry now. Okay, then I hate genetically modified waffles. I would like to choke on. Oh, that was mine. I would like to choke on a sausage and then burn in a dump. Uh, mind blown. Poop. I think I need uh, need a lactate pill. Uh, I love lactate pills. This was for whale peens beefcake. <laughs> I cried uh, laugh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so How good. masturbation improved my productivity. The agony of another person. I think I, Ben might be a cis bigot. <laughs> I was right about that one. Uh, Arden's life changing. I'm going to eat myself. <laughs> num, 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 whale peen. Informative. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> okay, now let's see what's happening. This is the award. Which of you has one last big award to give out, and that includes the audience. Okay, so now we're all voting. Aaron, you should be voting on who to give the award that you see on your screen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Now, finally, the big, big awards. The Lazy Award. <laughs> Goes to Arn <laughs> Rock. Arn's playing with snakes. Oh, that's that's second best, second best finger. Second best finger. <laughs> was that to Arden? It was. And then the unrelatable. I get the unrelatable. <laughs> the full award. Goes to Will Bean. <laughs> <laughs> the Masturbation Award. Whoa. I won this years ago. Oh, oh Ben got that to Venus, <laughs> The Cannibalism <laughs> Award. Uh, oh, hey, also yeah. to Arden. <laughs> the Big Stupid Jerk Award. Stupid Jerk. Oh. oh. <laughs> Up to oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The Colossal Gourd Award. Also to oh, Matt. No. I'm literally, I'm Mr. Pumpkin. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> they all felt bad that, that was I was... Excellent. Talking about how, how uh, oh my God, bird? Why, why are people in favor of my cis it, bigotry? Because you got two wow. awards that pumped your points up. Oh, I, yeah, the awards yeah. must be worth a lot. They're worth the time. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. I just made the lazy award, figuring I'd give it to me. Do we do? I an, couldn't vote. <laughs> do we do another one of these, or does everyone want to do quiplash or what? We could take a call or two, I, I suppose, first, and then uh, and then do sure. another game. We should do this one again, though, because yeah, now that do. we kind of know it, it'll be funnier and more fun. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, I will will it really, myself. though? I liked <laughs> <Will> it. it? <laughs> I did. Matt was but trying to get... a whale peen title, too. I, Matt, I mean, I'm sorry, G. <laughs> Matt was trying to get tactical at the end by not, by not being uh, giving out points. He was trying to lower your score to raise him. I, I figured it out. Uh, let's see. Let's talk to... Uh, David in Arizona. David, you are on the line with sev seven people. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Hello. Can you guys hear me? We do. No, 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 no. You're done. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Matt, Matt, hold on. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Uh, uh, I'm a big fan of you, man. Um, I started watching you uh, a few months back, and I mean, I'm a theist, okay, so... Uh, yeah, so hi, uh, Matt. Hi, uh, Forrest, Jimmy. You guys debated with me like a few days ago. And hello, everyone else. And Aaron. Hey, uh, thanks, David. Sorry, sorry about your email. Yeah, hey. Um, yeah, and sorry about your email, man. I heard about that, and, you know, it sucks. Uh, did I get the story right or no? An email? Uh, yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a bad thing. My, my neighbors kept reporting me to the city until the city finally came and said that, you know, it is illegal to keep rat tights in the suburbs and they made me turn it over to a petting zoo and it was torn apart and my emu was torn apart by coyotes while trapped no in way. a pen. No way. Oh, dude. Oof. Oh, yeah. God. That. That, 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 dude, I heard yeah, that you were separated maybe. by some fucking Karen, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't know about that part. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Uh, that, I'm going to excuse my horrible. concentration is a little, uh, just, I'm tied to the chair. That's right. Uh, 
I wasn't expecting it's to be good. tied to a chair, but I am. It's Friday night. He's always tied to a chair. That's right. Hey, David. <laughs> David. David, yeah. call the Sunday yeah. show. Let's talk yeah. about why you're a theist on Sunday, okay? No, uh, yeah, I'm not calling about uh, no, uh, any debate. No, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm saying you should, though. Let's do it. I will, I will. That'd All be right. great. Sounds good. I, I have, uh, I have a, uh, what is it, a topic that will basically end all atheism. <laughs> uh, well, we're very excited for it on Sunday, then. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Um, right. Yeah, so, Matt, um, uh, good to meet you, man. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, I watch you, and, like, your defense is pretty solid. You know, you got Christians running away. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually pretty funny, and, uh, you know, I appreciate that you guys are here as the uh, opposite force for uh, really dumb and uh, intolerant people, you know, so, very cool. uh, you know, thanks for that. Cool. And, uh, thanks, David. Yeah. Have a good one. Good one. Thanks much. Is getting too complimenty. And now we've done at least one call, so we've fulfilled the promise. <laughs> if more people call and they want to share uh, whatever, we can do that. I'm going to throw uh, just a quick couple of... Uh, uh, let's, go to, let's go to this screen uh, and throw... Let's see if this is working correctly. Some, oh, it's totally not. Totally not working correctly. Let's go to this one so I can adjust my computer uh, and everyone can see my big bald head larger. <laughs> Um, did we, uh, I don't know why this isn't working. This is very strange. Did you say you did? Apologies get for my lack of participation. That, that boa constrictor had me literally tied up. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> I couldn't get undone. <laughs> now you know, now you got it. It should all work uh, pretty good. Hold on. I noticed... I noticed something, and I'm gonna be a part of it. I'll be right back. I can't. Uh, I can't seem to get this. Oh wait, I know why. I think I know why. Because uh, it changed, right? Yeah. It doesn't understand that it needed to have changed. There we go. There Let's we go. Going. And now I also have an identical chair. <laughs> nice. Oh, yes. nice. That's hell yes. That's a lot of this. I feel left out. Right, I'm just gonna, discount X Racer chairs unite. I'm gonna quickly read these <laughs> off and then we'll do uh, we'll do our next round. Uh, Metalhead said, "Here's a little money to start the show with some of my favorite people on YouTube." Paul Mapleson said, "Congratulations on three years on the line, Jimmy. You'll hate this, but you deserve so much credit for bringing together such a diverse and interesting range of voices. Thank you." Uh, Too young to feel this old says, "You look beautiful, Jimmy." Also, fuck you. Thank you. Uh, I got cookies says, <laughs> "Jimmy gives great head." Don't know what that means. And uh, Brian Zepke says, "Congrats, Jimmy Dillahunty, for reaching your goal. Have you been practicing your no, 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 no? You're done, jackass." Yes, I. Well, I, I haven't been practicing the jackass part, but I have been practicing. Oh yeah. The, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I'll uh, sometimes while the show's going in the last couple of days, I'll just watch Matt and I'll repeat what he says and try to get down his hand mannerisms and everything. I take my impressions very seriously. Um, gotta get, and, gotta get some black licorice and eat it. Oh, not doing that. I'll get something that looks like it. Hey, uh, Aaron, can you mute when you walk away, pretty please? Oh my God! Wait, no, this is important. Oh yes. my, that's nice. yes. That's too funny. Uh, <laughs> There's four people it. with Phil, I feel gaming left out chair? of this whole chair thing. Like, I'm, when did we all decide to buy the exact same chair? Because I was I bought a good chair on Amazon, and it was the cheapest one. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 99 oh. bucks, but only if you bought this color and style. I wanted a yeah. green one. It was like $200. <laughs> okay. I will tell you all this story because now I think I'm safe from reprisal. This is my favorite chair I've ever have, had, and I have two of them. They're both sitting here. Uh, and they were conference room chairs at the office building that my studio used to be in. During the pandemic, they decided because I wasn't there much, they could just use part of my studio as a storage room. And so I got there one day and was like, hey, what the fuck? You guys have put a ton of stuff into my my uh, room. Please come get all of this stuff out. I don't want people walking in here, period, let alone coming in here to store stuff and possibly leaving the door unlocked because I have tons of equipment in here. Anyway, uh, 
Uh, but what I did before they did that is I moved these two chairs, which were different than all the other ones. I just moved them a few feet away and uh, not out of sight, but just a few feet away. So maybe it looked like separation. They took everything out except those two chairs. And then the company sold their company that owns the office building to a different company. And I decided that this is their rent for uh, using my studio as a storage space that they were not authorized to do. And I stole them. They're mine forever. And they, and they, they don't even know it. <laughs> so yeah. I love that. Yeah. These are, these no, are ill gotten like chairs and they are the shit. They are my favorite. <laughs> oh. All right. Who's ready for another round? Well, now that we Let's actually know what we're do doing. It. I'm sure. Done. Come here, Pinch. Aaron, are you ready, ready? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I was just about to light into Jordan Peterson again, but I'll play a game. Let's do it. And then I think, let's do a round of this, and then I think everyone will enjoy Quiplash even more. I think we should do Quiplash yeah, next. Give me just one quick second. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll like literally two seconds. Just, just continue on. I'll be back by the time you're doing things. Do you notice a lot of people say literally when they don't mean literally? Yeah, yeah. So it's actually yeah. in the well, dictionary. The dictionary yeah. it, 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 it's defined. Exactly. The, the, the dictionary definition of literally is not literally. That's awful. <laughs> Think about that shit. I like Tell that me it doesn't make you want to walk into the ocean. Go do the thing you're making us wait on you for. <laughs> Come on. Arden, what is that? Oh, this goodness. is our pinstripe. She's a leopard pinstripe, actually. But she's uh, she she's got herself wrapped in the chair right now, and I would really like it if. Did she you would see go what I was going through with through. that with that Imperator? Oh yeah. Luckily, she's and not going to probably get around me. Like, it was wrapped around me, yeah. and, and it was wrapped around the chair, and I'm, neither of us could move. <laughs> I think that that baby was a lot bigger than she is. She's one of our bigger ball pythons, and I think that's still probably dwarfed compared to what you had. Mutually, yeah. Let me go get pebbles. That's a hey. huge one. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that was Amaru. No one hears you, Ben. He is, uh, he's seven and a half feet. Yeah, I no, think, we we need, I think Matt needs to push the, the same players or new players button. Well, we're waiting I have, for... I have nothing in front of me but a talking point screen. Oh, yeah, me too. That's not good. There's somebody. Uh, oh, it's me. Well, I, can, have yeah, it. no, I have to like, press oh, it. I have to press it. I have to press it, but we need to wait for uh, Forrest to get back. And then Matt wants to go get a snake. I'm so excited no, for the, okay. the oh. NARBC. We're we're picking up another um, BCI. Really? Yep. There we go. Oh, we're, we're we coming go. up. There we, we go. Got our, we Let's got put our that there. Oh my god! I don't have two of them. <laughs> That's unfair. Anyway, we got our VIP passes, and we're coming up fr Friday morning just, early. Let me just get comfortable here. Right. Ridiculous. Right. <laughs> there you go. All right, Let's I'm do. <laughs> Remember, if you want to join at home, you want to be able to help with the voting on things, you can go to jackbox.tv, put in the code KBNC, and click join audience. So I'm going to click same players now, and nothing's going to happen, apparently. Uh, I don't yeah. know what is wrong. <laughs> Let me see if I can figure this out. Uh, gotcha. Boom. Boom. Play again. Ugh. Hmm. No, don't do that. Do I need to use my... All right, I wish we could show you our king snake. He's so pretty, but he's too tiny to really bring up here. Yeah, we have a lot of baby snakes that we're currently keeping in tubs because that's the only thing that can hold the babies. Yeah. You know, yeah. Fully kinetic skeletons, they get through everything. It's, it's almost like liquid. It's, it's almost like if you put you, we get an enclosure, fill it with water. If it holds water, it'll hold the snake. Yeah. <laughs> No, so, yeah, Forrest has two S racers. Sorry. We've got a new Forrest code. Forrest has two S racer chairs. We've got a new code, the same password as before, that if you need a reminder is in the group chat on the vMix call so that not just anybody can join, uh, is the one that you will put in. I think you need to do the plebeians. password again because I don't have it. I, yeah, I don't see it. I need it again. If somebody will put oh, that in the, in, the, in, the, in the chat. Oh, uh, it is. And VMix chat, if no. someone will throw it in there. Yeah, if we joined after, we don't have it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sweet. I still just got a talking point screen. So hit refresh. Hit, hit, hit refresh. Okay. And then it will ask you for the room code. Why are we doing this? Which is on the screen, BSTV. Uh, 
Uh, oh, but hey, it didn't. Hey, uh... yeah. What were you going to ask, John? I was just going to tell Forrest that that green uh, chair uh, the, of yours is like $109 right now on Amazon, so... Oh, no. hell yeah, I can get a third one. <laughs> <laughs> Come to my empire of chairs. Uh, I'm so a anybody, man rich in chairs. So anybody at home wanting to join in the audience, BSTV is the code that if you want to join and then you just click audience. Uh, RN, you should be putting in the password. Did you get in there? Cause we're, I, it never gave me a point to put in a password. Did you hit refresh? Yep, and I can hit reconnect. Hit That's reconnect. It. Try reconnect. And I did, and I and go back to talking point screen. Just go to jackbox.tv over again then. Well, it, okay, I'll, I'll hit revert, and that takes me to the same thing again. Goes back to the same thing again. About. So when you click your URL, it doesn't have a longer code than just Jackbox TV? Nope. Close your browser and just reopen it and do it again. I don't see don't you is. sigh at me. I'm doing my best here, Aaron. <laughs> you can also try you and do it from your phone. You know that part of the movie where he says, wait, I can explain. And the audience says, it better be good. It got you killed last week. That's <laughs> kind of what's going on here. Uh, Mahalia Yaga says, lots of love to you all. Speaking of love, everyone, please tell me your favorite frog fact. I... I watched a frog try to deep throat a person's finger this week on Instagram. I didn't know that you can basically go all the way into a frog, that their stomach is like their whole, their mouth and stomach are like the same thing. It My favorite like frogs frog use their eyeballs that... to swallow. Okay, well, that's probably going to top all of them. I was just going to go with the fact that poison <laughs> dart frogs like Dendrobates aureus are only poisonous in the wild because of the alkaline and the ants that they eat and in captivity they are not poisonous yeah. at all. That is dope. Yeah. Aaron, what is one. happening? <laughs> I'm still at the talking point screen. It doesn't do anything else. You closed the browser and reopened? Of course. Uh, you tried turning it off and turning it back on? I don't understand how it could just be showing him talking points with no... There, so there's nothing... It just says talking points. Nothing else. Um, That's it. Do you know how to open an incognito browser? Yeah, I can do that. Try try going to jackbox.tv from an incog. What? I just put it back. Have you ever seen a glass frog, Jimmy? I have. They're very cool. Some okay. frogs are transparent. That's my fact. Uh, Aaron says, congratulations to all of you. My favorite part of the line are the tack is super chats. Hashtag team Katie. Hashtag team Venus. Arden's right there. That's so mean. <laughs> just ignore right. Arden. You just you voted for two thirds of the team and one third isn't here and one third is here and you didn't vote for her. Listen, How did that work for you? My ego is plenty big on its own. It's fine. I, I, I'm not hurt. I feel you. <laughs> Arden, did it work? My uh, phone will else. not let me take a picture. I wouldn't worry about it. For us, that is. It was doing the same thing last time. Mm -hmm. So right, now I saying? have to decide if I'm this wacky, waving, inflatable, arm flailing tube man or this Forrest. lobster. For us, let me let me get Aaron in first. Aaron, <laughs> what do you got? Yeah, sure. Uh, I got a play that won't play. A play that won't play. You put your name and you put the code BSTV in, right? <clears throat> DV, DV, Delta, Delta Vector? No. Uh, I, uh, uh, Bravo, Bravo Sierra, Sierra Tango. Tango Victor. Okay. Bravo Sierra Tango Victor. Yes. Okay. Now I can play. Or bullshit television. And then... And, uh, and, and, and now I put in 90210? Yes, that's the right now. But the, the other one. The one that's in the chat. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We did it. All Still right, all you right, all right. Texas where you live. <laughs> I think you'll like Quiplash more, Aaron. But we're doing this one first. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> all right, so I entered the... Okay, join as player. Boom. I'm not going to take my photo again. Okay. You can if you want, or just pick one. <laughs> I did. Sock puppet. 
I think we're and ready. And then it keeps doing a, like a close-up, and I am not ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> say. <laughs> well, that was horrible. No. I agree. <laughs> oh, you mean the photos. <laughs> Uh, RPG Debunk says favorite moment of the show was Forrest and Aaron's almost seven hour show of mostly talking as always Jimmy I bite my thumb at thee I'm glad it was your favorite I remember was that the one I really had to pee and you guys wouldn't stop <laughs> you, you shut down the phone <laughs> sounds like us Wait, now yes, it wants me to it's too my much photo again. there's too much chaos I'm trying to reduce the, the chaos Aaron just well, pick one of the just... no you just just stay there just just uh, it's gonna start we're good. The show game is starting okay. in three, two, one. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Uh, All right. All right. Here we go. Crew of expert speakers. Come on, let's get started. First, you're going to craft some unique speech titles for each other. On your devices, finish the three speech titles you've been given. Fill in the blanks with something fun, weird, or wild. So A creative. Everyone's filling in blanks right now that should be on your screen. titles that has been sent to your device. This will be the title of your presentation. So right now everybody's clicking on the one that they want to give a presentation on. Oh, these are all so good. I had a clear <laughs> winner. I had like two winners, but I picked one specifically. Aaron Ra, you're giving the first speech. Will be their assistant. And Matt's going to be oh, picking your slides. Going to be doing? Excellent. Okay, cool. Fuck yeah. It's speech everyone wants. I, I actually, this pairing couldn't be better. It's like a nice wine while eating whale peen. The <laughs> slides... <laughs> <laughs> The slides one expects from that title are not what what what, what we got. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she's saying more stuff. Of the speech, you'll see the text and picture options that could follow it. If you don't the think the setup text it. fits the direction of the speech, tap it forward or back to get new options. All speeches will follow this exact structure: quick personal intro, speech title, picture, text segue, picture. Text segue, picture, thank you. Meanwhile, everyone else reacts to the speech in real time. Points aren't just based on value. How many times you hit the button is just as important. So hit them a lot. That's it. It'll be over before you know it. Assistant, go ahead and start picking that first picture. And speaker, don't forget. They better not copyright. Hello, my name okay. is, Sorry. Hello, my name is Aaron Ra, and my talk is... But it makes the world go round. <laughs> so there's no better hook than to have a shapely derriere. But I forgot about one thing. It blows me away. <laughs> Get a pen and paper and write this down. Eggs do not come out of your butt. Eggs should not go into your butt either. <laughs> Just making sure you know. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was, was that tactical, Matt? Or was <laughs> it? <laughs> I, I don't understand. That was quick. That was very fast. 
That was restaurant a lot. I entered the things when it said enter the things. I see. All right. If you sit here and wait, it will default to one. So, yeah. Qu- quotes and notes. Uh, so now we're leaving our comments on them. <clears throat> I think it may be that still there's only- a- Go ahead. No, I, I still only have talking points. But I can't even yes, comment. You can't you, comment you on your own. Okay. Speech. All right, it's Forrest and Arden paired. Oh, nice. I liked Arden's speech. I just don't like being told what to do. I'll put eggs wherever I want. That's right. Don't tell me where eggs go. <laughs> How are they going to hatch if I don't put them in my butt? <laughs> Hi there. I'm a horse. And today I'd like to talk to you about something very important. <laughs> And let me be very clear, I had a lot of options on what to talk about. One of them was about anal in a cornfield. One of them was a funny thing about God. But I deliberately chose this one because people need to wash their asses. If you want to be with me, you need to wash a little bit better. I will fight you off of the altar. I will knock your stinky ass away if you try to come at me with that serious B.O. Ain't nobody here for it. And ain't nobody got time for it. You're a grown man. Wash your ass. We're not Andrew Tate fans here. We don't need that. Though, through all the fog and confusion, there was one thing that guided me to this conclusion. Because, believe you me, I grew up as a young teenage boy. I wasn't that way. (laughs) But when the pussy look like this, when it smells you, it's time for you to reconsider your options and your life choices. Soap (laughs) must much anus every time water is not enough the shower is not enough the rinse is not enough take care of yourself and take care of your partner and knowing all that i want you to picture one very important thing and that is this right here <laughs> remember that the path to progress is not linear it's a, it's an uphill battle and sometimes it's an uphill and a downhill and a finger in and a finger out but it all comes to the same place and that is that you need to wash your ass gentlemen in the audience this is not a joke this is not just a funny speech wash your ass there is a pandemic of unwashed asses amongst the masses and we all need to pitch in to make it better thank you i'm a horse thank you for listening I like that you figured out how to use the same hypersensitive microphone as Mussolini. (laughs) (laughs) There was some clipping. (laughs) I'm just happy to hear about masses of asses. Masses of asses. I was going to say, I did did a applause because there there was like bars in there at the end, you know. Arden, thank you so much for the setups. They were golden. They were wonderful. You're welcome. The first one was an easy choice, but the others were a little... Uh, but you no, made no they all went you perfectly. They all went perfectly. Thank you. Thank for you. real, though. Arden, you should leave a comment. <laughs> I refused. Oh, it's... Oh, GE's picking my... That's stuff. right. All right, so... Hello, my name is Studebenus, and my talk today is true story i found my home in a colony of ants so this is a a wild story so i was coming off a night shift one week i was super sleep deprived and i really just wanted food and i was craving cereal but you know butter has the same chemical you know that dead ants smell like tricks right and they go around in that death circle thing so that's i respond the same exact way to butter and so the same chemical led me for some reason to this underground ant colony and i don't know how i got there i found a hole i needed to put myself in it so i grabbed my butter i have a fanny pack full of butter and i just went head first into that hole in the ground and i found ants even children understand this very simple fact about ants and and butter and the ants make absolutely the best friends and the best the best life partners you know because humans suck and humans tell you that you can just call god through prayer or whatever the fuck, but I've never been able to do that. You know what I have been able to do? I've been able to find ants outside. Ants exist. God doesn't. So if I'm going to put myself in a situation, uh, I'm going to take my butter, 
and my holes, and I'm gonna go not pray to ants because that's weird, but I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna join their death <laughs> circle because who doesn't want to join a trick death circle of ants? <laughs> How does this impact your day-to-day -day life? Uh, it probably shouldn't because I mean this is this is my my world and I don't want you encroaching on it, but if you have if you let's say you forget to wash your ass for a few years uh, and some scientist kicks you out of their house and your bathtub looks like this well the ants are gonna find you and if you do not align yourself with the ants they will murder you and that's just a fact so if you want to be on the right side of history get some butter put it in your pants put it everywhere you can wash your ass or the ants are coming for you thank you everybody <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. One I hit up several times and I still got least engaged. That must have been a fantastic speech. I hit up a bunch of times. Thank I, you. I, Thank I you, G. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I think my comment is my favorite one. <laughs> All right, leave a comment. I did. Oh, you gotta hit enter or something. It still gives. It still oh, gives some it dots. Is. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you only got three seconds. Even you Amber fucked. just texted me. Even Amber just texted me. It was like, I think your mic settings are off again or something. Forrest, you're up. <laughs> you're up with me. Oh <clears throat> uh, hell yeah! Welcome everybody. Um, what? What is a family? Is a family a husband, a wife, and a couple of kids? Hi, uh, my name is Jimmy Snow, and I'm here to tell you that that very concept is complete and utter bullshit. The truth is, parenthood can and will ruin your life. I have a graphic that I need to show you that represents best how I could put this. Don't <laughs> look a three-eyed cat in the face <laughs> now you say jimmy what does having a three-eyed cat and looking it in the face have to do with parenthood seemingly nothing it might even seem like i'm just talking to try and think up but really it's you who can't see the obvious metaphor think of every time you've bought this wonderful cat and you bring it home and you have to look at its third eye and you go honestly it kind of ruins the cat for me that's parenthood do you not believe me are you hesitant to agree with this clear and obvious infallible logic well i've got one question for you would you <laughs> would you put beans in a potato you wouldn't put beans in a potato and here beans represent sperm the potato represents eggs and if you put beans in a potato you get a horrible mass that isn't worth anybody's time AKA a child. Stop making your bean potato childs. It's a mistake. I'm glad that you all had me here and I want to thank the Ted organization for uh, welcoming and, and bringing me here. I want to leave you with this simple thought. <laughs> the best partner I ever had was not a partner who was inexperienced she was very experienced and so rather than talk about you know someone might say a hot dog down a hallway my favorite thing about my partner was how many hot dogs had been in her mug her flowery mug because her mug knew how to take care of not just one hot dog but many hot dogs sluttiness is a positive thing keep its name out your mouth i'm jimmy snow Thank you. Thank you, TEDx. Here's Beautiful. All the numbers, <clears throat> I put my heart and soul Me. into that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm so Damn. confused right now. I saw the potatoes and the beans and suddenly got hungry. <laughs> Don't put <laughs> beans in your potatoes. <laughs> I... Are you a Brit? That sounds like something a Brit would say. <laughs> That's the most heteronormative speech I've ever given, by the way. That's the least gay I've ever been. If you watching at home haven't learned anything from this stream, just remember the vagina is like a mug. <laughs> Take or, that one or home a potato. With you. But the egg is a potato. potato. <laughs>
And the egg, the egg is a potato. <laughs> hey, baby, show me that sweet mug. <laughs> oh. Show me your mug. Oh. Matt is the speaker. Venus is the supporting player. Oh, boy. Care of that. Okay. I'm excited. I'm high. <laughs> <laughs> this will be great. Some of you are sitting out there and not shitting out there. <laughs> I'm here to tell you I've been there before, and finally, my name is Matt Delaney, and now I can poop. Aaron tried to tell us all about his diarrhea. He clearly does not suffer from the same sort of constipation difficulties that other people do. This is what I looked like just two months ago. Stuck there, completely unable to poop. And that's when I got these which are normally referred to as dowsing rods. And with these, I can move around. I can not just find oil and water and gold, but I can find Pepto-Bismol, Metamucil, and much more. I can find milk to turn into cheese, which will bind you up. But if you make a really bad cheese, it will completely unbind you. Now, I know what you're saying. Why is this information important? Because if you are bound up, you are unable to shit and then you will not be able to properly wash your ass. As Forrest has already explained to us, when you are being steered around and someone is desperately trying to drive it home and there's a blockage there, it's not just the pants that are in the way, it's poop. And if you're unable to get the Metamucil and everything else to work, you can take these dowsing rods and with the wider end, which has a nice round piece here so it goes in nice and smooth you can insert it into your anal cavity move it around and swirl it to remove that blockage <laughs> if you're confused let me put it simply stick some stuff up your butt <laughs> swirl it around and then you can say as the rest of us can say now i can poop you don't have to beg other people for help you with the aid of these wonderful dowsing rods can get to a point where you too can look yourself in the mirror, look your friends in the face and say, I have a clean ass. I don't have diarrhea. I'm not blocked up. I can in fact poop. Thank you. <clears throat> Best one of the night. Oh my I, God. Best one of the night. I did the give opening, one. The, the snake oil salesman accent, the in-depth knowledge of all the laxatives on the market, everything. Absolute perfection, man. I, I gave it one, all comes from my day to day life. I gave one <laughs> thumbs down for the Kevin Spacey House of Cards accent, and that's the only thing. That was uh, my only. But that was a Benoit Blanc attempt. <laughs> so that was so good. Some of you are sitting out there and not shitting out there. That is the best thing I've heard all fucking day. That was my favorite <laughs> so part too. Yeah. World picture made me so happy. <laughs> I love that. I, I will probably <laughs> still lose because of how this game works, but I appreciate the comment. No. That, oh yeah, so no. The, the points don't matter. It's the laughs that matter. <laughs> like if you get somebody to actually like laugh, that's the best part. Who's next? Oh my god. Oh great. shit. Oh, and Arnra is my my assistant again. Yay. Okay. Are you ready, Aaron? I'm gonna try. Let me see here. Okay. All right. If he's I'm anything like me, your speech there. will be over in 10 seconds. Okay. Hello, yeah. everyone. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, my name is Arden Hart. If you don't know me, I host the Transatlantic Show over on the line. And while I have tried for a long time to make a career of my own, unfortunately, my entire speech tonight is going to be a paid advertisement for Jimmy fucking Snow. Uh, this has been pretty much my whole life. I, I, he actually has blackmail on me. It's pretty rough. Um, it started out really good, our relationship. Uh, we met at a uh, business meeting and he brought a guitar. Uh, he was playing obnoxiously loud. We couldn't get anything done. I kept telling him, requesting that he would put away the guitar, but... Eventually, he convinced me that I, too, should be singing my song. Uh, th this was a great lesson, I thought, at first. Um, but, uh, oh, I'm getting some, some echo. Sorry, that's my fault. It should be fixed. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, so this was a great thing at first, you know. I, I really found my voice. But then I found out what a relationship with Jimmy Snow was really like. And here's the inspirational story behind the, his brand. Uh, 
his brain is actually just a stalk of cauliflower that's been dyed pink. I know you all think he's really smart, but in fact, he is just an evil, evil stalk of cauliflower who who likes to to pretend he's rice or pretend he's chicken, but he's not. He's cauliflower. It's deceptive and it's wrong. Uh, I can't tell you how many times I thought I was engaging with a, a, a brain and it was actually just a stock of cauliflower. But before I go, I'm legally required to tell you this uh, uh, safety warning uh, before you interact with Jimmy fucking Snow. Don't miss, okay? Uh, you really gotta hit the bullseye <laughs> with Jimmy fucking Snow uh, because if you don't, he beats you. Uh, he beats you with the same guitar that he wins your heart over with. I have so many bruises. Somebody call someone. I'm begging you. It is. It's really rough out there. Uh, thank you so much for your time, uh, except for Jimmy fucking Snow. I paid that for was that my prop, by the way. <laughs> that was yeah. that was my prop, by the way. I'm not Here's sorry. <laughs> by the way, you said you you. I, the main problem I had was at one point you said. You may think Jimmy is very smart. Nobody thinks that. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, you know, these are these are your audience. They wouldn't you be here if they weren't a little bit weird about you. supposed to be nice. <laughs> I, I guess. In a funny it's... way, in a funny way, you actually did pay for that advertisement. That's true. <laughs> true. In a, in a roundabout way, yeah. That, you're not wrong. I, I'm sorry, I had to put that because the whole advertisement, like the entire speech is a paid advertisement for, was my was the beginning of the prompt. I had to put Jimmy Snow. Like, what <laughs> else am I gonna put to that? On the no, show? everyone here is paid to be my friend. Oh, I'm gonna support John. Here we go. <sighs> All right, here we go. This isn't gonna be good, but you know, I'll give it my best. <clears throat> Hello, uh, my name is Whale Peen or Godless Engineer, and my talk today is going to be about uh, if I controlled the world's supply of peanut butter, here is what I would change. And I have to tell you, it's it's an amazing change. Um, I I totally (laughs) think that Tyrannosaurus Rexes should come in and just fuck up all of our uh, economy graphs and everything like that with peanut butter. Okay, they, they uh, y'all don't know this, and I know we got some people here that'll refute me about this, but T Rexes actually ate peanut butter all the time, and they want your peanut butter. Okay, they're gonna come in and they're gonna steal your peanut butter because that's the only thing that they care about. Okay, your peanut butter and your your graphs. But this next thing about peanut butter just totally fucking blew my mind, and you're not gonna believe it either. Okay, <clears throat> these pigs will steal. <laughs> peanut butter from old ladies and children okay they may look cute but they will not hesitate to eat your peanut butter and you know they don't care where they eat it out of okay you know you could have a dirty ass that you need to wash like force was talking about earlier but they will straight up eat it right out of your asshole okay they don't care where it comes from all right, these pigs are disgusting, but you know they are kind of cute too. But the only way to fix all of this peanut butter talk right now is really simple, and it's just this one thing: it's all of your play-doh mashed together into a stone so that you can protect your peanut butter. Okay, protect your peanut butter stores in your closets and everywhere. And you're going to have to fashion your own weapons at this point, because it's a dystopian future that we're talking about where peanut butter is like toilet paper in 2020. Okay. And so you're going to want to stone people with your solid silly putty, um, and that is my vision for the future of peanut butter as a um, uh, monetary platform. Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Lovely. <laughs> I thought for a second the rocks were going to go in the direction of you have to bash the pigs over the head with the rock. I thought the, the rock butter. looked like a globe. <laughs> and then when you were like, here, I have a fact about peanut butter that's going to surprise you. I thought you were going to say... It's a pork product when the pigs came up, but you didn't. Right. <laughs> the peanut butter actually no, comes no, I, I went, from pigs. I went pigs eating out of... Yeah, no, I... 
you know, I went with pe- uh, pigs eating peanut butter out of your asshole, and that's why you need to clean it. Aaron, you got to leave a comment. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, I feel like is mad at me. <laughs> All right, sorry. Sure, just anything. <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. Yeah, it, the it, damage it, it is gone. Found the award ceremony. On the bike. The All right, I got more points than Arn. Give out at the end. I wonder if there's going to be multiple of the sames. Only just because there, there are some recurring things here tonight. Thank you, baby. A I'm lot sense. of ass. There's so <laughs> much so ass. Much. There's a lot of ass. <laughs> Forrest, quick. My make wife brought me cinnamon rolls. Forrest, make an award quickly. quickly I, I really quickly. did. Forrest, make an award. I, I was a little, oh, I I did was a little sad. Okay, good. I was a little sad that Forrest didn't do the speech about cornfield anal. I was really wanting to learn more about the biology of cornfield anal. Dude, it was so fucking close. That was like the thing that I was going for. But then these I realized are, that we needed a serious PSA. These are the comments. There was one about butts and eggs. Forrest got something about, I think, it's, I don't know what it said. Uh, glass ass hot butter dance. Is that butter in your pants or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> I like potatoes. Someone put beans in my potato, so please, God. Nobody mentioned the so mug brave. hot dogs. Uh, Matt can poop. I got to use the shitter. I honestly am shocked. So brave again. I have four dowsing rods up there and I still can't poop. Entire speech is as a paid advert. Who said Jimmy is smart? I want a Jimmy fucking snow advert now. I'm not paid to like Jimmy. Yes, you Jimmy are. Jimmy isn't rice. Uh, peanut butter pig butt. Noah's Ark. Mm -hmm, too many words. I kind of want to pig to eat pee pee out of my ass. <laughs> all right all right it is the time for the award ceremony everybody's going to be asked to uh rn you gotta you gotta give an award out and that includes the audience it's gonna give it all to right. you here in just a second there you go it's a big decision <laughs> Oh, and the audience has been voting too, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep, they've been voting. Yep. That's where. That's why our scores are so high. I think uh, these like giant numbers. Uh, who got the fuck? Wait, the fuck award goes to me. Wow. Uh, the Death Circle of God Ant God Award goes to Forrest. Forrest got another one. Thank you. Thank you. The Sexiest Ankles Award goes to Whale Peen. Woo! Very nice. Hell yeah. The, the Poop Free Award, and that is a very unfortunate shaped <laughs> trophy. Hey, yeah. I didn't see one too. <laughs> Clean his ass went to Forrest. Oh, Forrest got all the trophies. Saddest Presentation Thank Award you. to me. <laughs> the Gloopy Radioactive Award to Matt. And I think wow. that. Forrest got three. Forrest got a win. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. yeah Forrest <laughs> got just awards. so thank you, many. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad but second. I got third. I'm amazed. Man, I cried laughing at Matt's when he came forth. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it's it's so good. All about the awards. It's, uh, you got to be tactical with the, the awards, it seems like. I need to AFK for a minute and go use my dowsing rods. I'll be right back. Hell yeah. I'll read some <laughs> super chats while you're dowsing. Uh, and we'll do. Uh, we'll do. We'll do Quiplash next. Um, I don't know, yeah. like, from where my wife produced these cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. rolls. I, we don't have cinnamon rolls in the house. We don't have anything. She just found them. I don't even know where she got this paper plate. Are they delicious? Or wonderful. I got to show off this guy. Ooh, what do we got? It's my favorite of the whole collection. Oh, don't let the this other one This is my only venomous. Oh, is this your falsy? Yes, this is my false water cobra. Oh my god! He is my, we saw he is my favorite in the whole collection. Oh, he's beautiful. I love him. Yep. Yeah, we I saw him. like he's, two at Conroe. We almost wanted to get him, but we just don't have the space. Oh yeah, they, they need space. Yeah. This guy's two meters long. He yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we definitely we don't even you're, have. You're a, gonna love you're gonna love them when you get them. They're smart. And uh, yeah, I, I I recommend them. Everyone says if there's ever a snake to like have on your lap while you're watching TV, it's a false water cobra. 
I'm like, oh man. <laughs> they're not not to say that yeah. they're beginner snakes that somebody who just wants to sit on their TV should get. They're definitely not beginner snakes, but yeah, they are that's definitely that, not. They are rear fanged. Yeah. They are rear fanged. They have up to three fangs on each side, and the bite is medically significant. Even if the venom isn't, the bite can be. Mm. So, Good to know. Learn how to keep them. Uh, the new there's going to be a new password for the Quiplash game. I'm putting it both in the VMix chat and I'm putting it in the um the Twitter uh, the Twitter group. Let me see if we've okay. got seven, nine, six eight eight that I think most of you are in. Let's see seven nine six eight eight. Yes. Oh fuck! I just said it out loud. God damn it! I'm in so stupid. Yeah, I'm so worry. fucking stupid. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, so uh, you're those people who thought Jimmy Scrub is no longer smart. Sorry, right. you didn't just bang your knee into the bathroom door. Oof. Oof. You yeah, know what? Matt, though? you wanted to get one of these. Oh, Falsy, you bet. Oh yeah, yeah. I was just saying. I recommend it. I I love I them. I see a couple I, people I, I in the may chat end up, like, oh, sorry, go ahead. I, I, I may end up getting dry marking first, but mm. they're, they're both on the list. Yeah. yeah. A few people in the chat were like, oh, oh my God, it's, it's venomous because people don't understand that <laughs> yeah. venom doesn't mean you're immediately going to have like a failing to blood clot or like complete Close your little baby hog nose paralysis. you should get. <laughs> oh, yeah, your little baby hog nose behind you. Yeah, oh also God. venomous and really <laughs> dangerous if you're a frog. <laughs> <laughs> this one, It'd however, I will, you know, to full cred, if it bites you, you may need stitches. You won't necessarily need antivenom, but it'll tear a hole. I'm going to so read. I can, I, can, I can give you said stitches. Just fly me over. We'll have fun. <laughs> I'm gonna... This tiny little thing is also venomous. Rear fang. I'm going to read some super chats while everybody gets in the game, but the code is now on the screen uh, for Quiplash. Uh, Aaron, when you're ready, uh, WVID. You, somebody oh, else can sorry, say what that is. God damn it, somebody else picked the poop. Hell yeah, I'm a cactus. I, I, I see it, Arden. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, a lavender. Aaron said, OMG, I forgot Arden is penance. I'll vote for Team Arden for the next Tacus I can catch live. Uh, to kill okay, him. I, I need another four-letter code. It's on the screen. Yeah. WVID. WVID. Yep. Yep. And then the password yep. is in the chat. Uh, it has changed, or the Twitter group, if you're in there. Uh, okay. Tequila Mocking Turd says, "I want a snake tour, and for Matt from the past to never ever go back to being Jimmy, because now he is sexy. Thank you." I don't know. I'm not. I'm not keeping this look forever. Thanks to Kila Mocking Turd. I want my beard back. Something fierce. Uh, he doesn't actually, deserve this look forever. I I wouldn't care as much about the top. It's the beard. I I need my jawline back. I don't have it without it. Uh, Amit Matthew says congratulations on three years. And Kai H2 said, did you guys see the Miami history one police car touting BLM? Pretty brain dead. Anyway, love the line and thanks for all you do. The Miami history one police car touting BLM. It Pretty tells me there's I don't know an error means. joining the game. Well, did you well, put the right? And try again. Yeah, did you put the right code in? I have no idea which one's the right one. The one that's in the chat, right? Yes. The last, the last line in chat right now. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, don't be like Jimmy and read it out over the air. Yeah, please don't do that. <laughs> uh, I, I'm loving the fact that we got we got Jimmy reading the code out on air. Matt banging his knee in the bathroom. Aaron trying to figure out how to work the newfangled technology. This whole stream is just six old men and poor Ar uh, Arden just trying to fucking put up with us. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thanks for I have an excuse. I'm handling a venomous snake. It's very large. Happy three <laughs> an three year anniversary, everybody! You made that excuse. Uh, Mahalia Yaga says, "Aaron, I do the same thing. You make me feel better about my tech skills. Thank you for the patience of others for us to catch up." Uh, Stephen Saunders says, "You're just a cauliflower in a vat." That's true. 
Uh, Light Halcyon says, looks like we're getting a new channel trailer. Hashtag Team Arden. Yeah, you'll forgive me if we don't play that one in the, in the, as the channel trailer, though. I'm He's sorry. Me. <laughs> uh, and Katie Looney says, I wish we could send pictures through Super Chats. I would love to show off my snakes. I have a ball python and a baby rosy boa. I wish you could Ooh. show off your snakes, but I'm glad that people can't send their snakes uh, through Super Chats if y'all catch my drift. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, well, I'm seeing people in the chat saying I'm, me, I'm not old. I'm curious what people, how old people code. think I am. The best it's, I can give you for snakes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me let me get our our and figure it out. Arn, what are you saying? It says it won't it won't let me put in a passcode. It just it gives me the room code. Yeah, which I'm supposed to, it whiskey vector India delta and yes. then of course my name. Yes, there's, there's no option to put in uh, the code. Did you click? Did you uh, did you click enter? What happened? There's nothing to nothing to hit enter right now or like join. There's not a join well, button. I, I could click play and get the error message for the fifteenth time. All right, just close the browser again. I guess I don't know. Try it. Try it again because I don't know what the error what? message is. The code that you're entering does it end in two sixes when you put in the password? Yeah, I don't get to put in a password. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'll just close the browser and reopen. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, so now I get to enter a four-letter code, and that is... What was Whiskey it? Vector. WVID. Yeah. Okay, and then I can click play. Ah, now I get a, now I get a password required. Yeah, and it ends in two sixes. There we go. All right, cool. I'm going to turn on the tutorial so everybody can hear it. So we'll actually let it explain this time. Here we almost go. Hello, this is Quiplash 3. Schmitty goes to Mars and other stories. I'm Schmitty, and I hope you have your quipping face on, and extra players can put in that room code and vote in the audience. It's the prequel to round two, round one. You're going to see two prompts on your device. Answer each one with a brilliant response. Soon you'll go up against another player's answers while everyone else votes for their favorite. Points are scored based on the percentage of people who choose your response. Let's quip. So basically, some text prompts are going to get up, type a response to the text prompt, and you, you're you trying to come up with something funny that'll be voted for, and everybody should be doing that now. <clears throat> All these jokes about me being like a typical customer in a in a in a tech support line. I used to work tech support for fourteen years, and I've got some great <laughs> stories. One of my favorites was this guy says, "Yeah, the computer comes on just fine, but the box the box don't come on." No By one's responding. No one's no one's re no one's re replying because are you are you responding to the text prompts in front of you? What text prompts? In the game, you don't see text prompts there right now? Are, there he already did. He already oh, did them. His okay, you already did them. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, the reason why everyone was quiet is because we were doing the we were doing ours still. We're just making sure you weren't feeling lonely. Uh, it's just Forrest, <laughs> it looks like, is waiting. We have 100 people who are going to assist in the voting. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, Five I seconds. have nothing for the second prompt. Put something. Uh, 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 Cheese. It's, it was. It was. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Your entire lives have led to this moment. Second prompt. All right, Aaron, come back. You got to start voting now. <laughs> Aaron, Up to bed, Aaron have... does not want to play. I the think. Most innocent thing you could type that would result in a Twitter. Uh, these are best read by somebody. Uh, the the most innocent thing you could type that would result oh, in a Twitter fight. You have to choose between I'm a woman or literally anything and everything. Man, this is hard. It's a tough choice. I think you mean woman. This That's what she said. I'm a woman. Oh, 
<laughs> That's what she said. Oh, it was a tie. We tied. Who who did I tie with? Venus and I tied. Oh, but the yeah. audience gave it to the audience gave it to Venus. I've seen tw- I've seen Twitter. <laughs> the strangest things to discover in a mummy's tomb: my mommy or daddy. Daddy. <laughs> Other people can read too. By the way, it doesn't have to just be me. If, whoever wants to. That sounds read too complicated. Off. You have yeah. to do it all. Reading is hard. I didn't learn how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Daddy yeah. won that one hard. <sighs> you have to understand that we have a type of deviant in our audience. Uh, <laughs> a terrible idea for a children's pop up book The Adventures of The Child, Child Eater <laughs> or Father McFeely. <laughs> I think Father I know McFeely the audience. McFeely from St. Pedos? That's right. <laughs> I mean, it did ask for a terrible idea. Dude, dude I got to put my own background music in. Top, I knew Father McFeely would get it. Uh, Ooh, crushed it. At some point, we'll start to notice that Matt will see that there's a tactical advantage to voting for the worst of the two ones, and we'll start to notice where Matt's votes line up. Name the sequel of Cat, <laughs> Cat 2, Into the Litter Box, or Look at My Anus. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like one's more clever and one's more funny. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I can 100% see Into the Litter Box happening being a thing. Yeah, it's go. definitely more clever, but look at my anus. I love that. Y'all are dirty. Jimmy <laughs> suggested I would so start good. voting in opposition to everybody, and he's the first one who does. I, I was just pointing out <laughs> your tactic in the last game, basically. The worst restaurant, Blank Hut, Right in the Hut, or Loose Kale Hut? <laughs> hut. <laughs> right in the Hut, Loose Kale Hut. <laughs> everybody vote. Why won't mine stop pulling up prompts? That so that means that yours it only lets you vote on others. So the times that it doesn't let you vote are the ones that you're on the screen. That yours was so yours was loose kale hut, apparently. I think you must have clicked the safety button. Blank much? Wine much? Or ugh, dirty ass much? Yes. <laughs> what is the fixation with the cleanliness of anuses today? It's, it's for just relevant. Just trying to spread awareness. <laughs> I'm just going to start to watch for a screen more and see if he's shifting around a little bit more uncomfortably like he ain't got a clean ass. <laughs> it reminds if me of all to start times, shifting like, around, you would just hear the squeaking from how clean everything is. <laughs> it reminds me of all the times my stepdad used to ask me, is a frog's ass watertight? And the Gross. funny thing is the answer is no. Oh. You know you're rich when you have a room just for your snakes or just for boning. I mean, the first one's definitely not true. <laughs> Who has only one room for snakes? That's. Yeah. I, I had to tell a friend of mine today that when he comes down to visit, I can still promise to put him up in a room that doesn't have snakes in it, but not for long. <laughs> we all still picked it. <laughs> yeah, that's still our favorite. It's good. It's relevant. Is yeah. that the lesson? All of us? Well, I All need right. it. <laughs> relevant. You survived round one, but can you survive the scoreboard? Nope. Ooh, John Ooh, and Whale Aline. Bean's at the top. Well done, Whale I'm, Bean. I'm also... Time for round well, two, you're frozen where the prompts for some are crazier and the points are doubly... So same, same thing. He just couldn't handle that many points. Everybody fill in your prompts that should be on the screen now. <laughs> I like mine, but no one's going to vote for it.
waiting on for us and Matt. Aaron, are you you I feel like you're done first. Are you just clicking safety or are you filling in them in? I'm filling them in. Okay, cool, cool. Just making sure. It was fast. It's too clever for you, Jimmy. Well, last time there was a safety quip, and I was just making sure you didn't. I didn't realize what safety safety quip was the first time I saw it, and I clicked it and realized, okay, well, that's just like a default answer, so I didn't do it anymore. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. I'm laughing Wait, at my what own What was joke. that about a pole dancer? <laughs> Hold me closer, pole dancer. <laughs> the lyric is clearly Tony Danza. I yeah, oh, you need to do it. <laughs> the worst response to send nudes, you're not my priest, or I already have some. Uh, I'm just really touched that nobody said a, a nude from Jimmy or something like that. I'm just thank you all for not saying, for taking we the easy win and shitting on me. <laughs> hey, did, uh, did somebody want to get an even louder snack? <laughs> no, I <I've, I've> finished. <laughs> God. Want some attention? Go to a singles bar wearing a t shirt that says Doubled or Andrew Tate Alpha Male Supremacy. <laughs> <laughs> Except, isn't it Sigma Male now? Isn't that the whole new thing? They're, they're going to have to find another Greek letter eventually. That's right. I'm an Epsilon male, where the real men are. I'm the Omega male. They'll move male. on to a different alphabet. They'll move on to the Russian alphabet. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's actually kind of legit. I think they'd probably go that direction. <laughs> that could happen. Yeah, I know. I was like, that actually sounds real. Really. Thanos has gone too far this time. He destroyed half the blank in the universe. Half the cute butts <laughs> or half the tits. Well, oh god damn! This is just going to come down to choose. You got to choose one. This the the audience. No, yeah. Well, how 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 are like? Is it like one one uh, one tit from each person? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. oh, it's the thing, it's like, <laughs> killing all the cute butts. That just increases competition. But half the tits, like most wow. of the population, is going to wow. be turned into one side all the time now. Did you all see this Leaning. though? <laughs> yeah. How? Well, it's it's almost 50-50 tits to butts. That's incredible. With our Pool audience, schedule. yeah. Pool schedule. After free swim and adult swim, there will be people who can't swim or just can't swim. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> adult swim, free swim, can't swim. People who can't swim. Can't. Can't swim was mine, and it made me you laugh. The same. People <laughs> yeah. who can't swim, swim. Oh, wow. The people, <laughs> the, the audience needs it spoon-fed to them and needs the whole yeah. joke <laughs> fucking explained <laughs> and written out. Valhalla is heaven for warriors. <laughs> Value City is heaven for Karens or it's January 6th insurrectionists. <laughs> Both are pretty good. <laughs> 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 uh, too much fun. It's got to be Karen's, right? I hope. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Hurts my feel. Oh, wait. The audience oh. gave it back to me. Oh, nice. yay. <laughs> my Thank audience goodness. are also slightly sexist. Okay. A prank Abe Lincoln <laughs> loved to play at the White House. Uh, peeing on the seat or dead. <laughs> I <laughs> 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 hey, just sitting around going, wouldn't it be so funny if I was just dead right now? <laughs> he did that at the theater. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. What an extremely nice bouncer says when throwing people out of bars. Uh yeet or <laughs> drugs are bad, okay? I think a better trying for Lincoln would have been asking anybody if they had theater tickets. That's a good one. Nice. <laughs> All right, you got to vote. That's a weird fucking snake, I, man. Never never ask Aaron to choose between animals and us. 
every time. <laughs> the, the audience uh, taking it again. Yeah, the audience flipped it. Yeet! Yep. Yeet! <laughs> I remember when yeet was a way of just saying, that's cool. Ye yeet, we used to say. <laughs> and now it means throwing stuff. Yes, regale us of tales of your age. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Funny coming from you. Flash. And behold, a final round to end all rounds. On your device, you'll see a prompt that requires three separate responses. Got all that? Good. And you know what an odd number of players means. You'll be going against me. Crazy, right? All right, everyone. All right, you should have a new prompt. You got to do three responses. All right, I, if, I, if I can get there, big dog in the way. <sighs> ah. Get out of the way. Is something else supposed to be happening? Because there isn't. Nope, just waiting on everybody else to get theirs in. You got to mute or something, man. <laughs> Are you, do you just hate being here tonight? What's the deal? <laughs> the only three things in life get worth getting mad about. You have to choose between religion, politics, TV show cancellations, or cold weather, hot weather, only have weather to talk about. Somebody in the chat just asked if my dogs and my snakes ever come into contact with each other. I was working on the, the giant boa constrictors enclosure, and I went out to grab something, and I come back, and my, my dachshund corgi mix is inside the enclosure. Aaron, you won. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were up against Schmitty. Three things you change about Superman to make him more relatable. <clears throat> a Bob Ross perma, an M&M pride logo, wearing bra on the outside too, the power to <laughs> eat wings, cheese belly, power to change glasses. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I'd be down for trans Superman with a bra on the outside. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Gary wears his underwear trans? on the outside. Maybe he's a femboy. It <laughs> doesn't have to be, but it could be. I'm just assuming because, you know, I'm just biased that trans people are better. And Superman is super probably wow. just means trans. I'm just saying. The the audience, I had, I won the <laughs> amongst us, and then the audience was 92% to the other one. I have a wow. cheese belly. I thought it would work. <laughs> When going through airport security, make sure to remove your shoes, belt, and butt plugs slash civil liberties or your <laughs> weed sperm donation container and butt plug. Wow. <laughs> Great minds think about butt plugs. Oh, my God. I really should have background music or something for these lulls. <laughs> it's, it's, it's intense. Isn't there music associated with the yeah, game? Yeah, but, but I hate Schmitty's voice. He talks a lot. 
Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, I love that Ben and I both went for both Three blood. things. I would have just had it that its volume was like We're both scientists, blood. you know. This is what happens. <laughs> that's that's what it's all about. Three things all uh, all historians will remember for the 21st century. QAnon shaman, rapey McForehead, your mom, or transgenders destroy the West, Mariah Carey Christmas, President oh. Cheeto. <laughs> Boy, this is hard. Rape. Rape. <laughs> what's what's bad is I thought that one that says QAnon shaman said Shannon Q. Oh. You're <laughs> having a night. Can we- Who's fucking absent, by the way. She's it's the uh, anti Shannon Q. The anti Shannon Q is QAnon shaman. I it had, it's her had nemesis. Owen like been an here. There. Had Owen been here, we would know your mom was was he, he always does your mom jokes in quiplash. It's <laughs> without fail. Uh Arden wins. Hey yo. Arden. Wow. Nice. Uh, well done. Nice. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Shall we do Star Crown? Does anyone else need a break? Should we do one more round uh, and then and af- and do a break right now and do some super chats? Or should no, we no, just whatever, man? Sure, we can do a little break. Yeah, Anybody need a little break? Besides uh, uh, watching R and have his Friday night dog fun. Wrestling with the dog <laughs> over there. I don't get another drink while you do hey, whatever hey, we're Matt? doing on break. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Just so that you're oriented correctly, it's uh it's Thursday. Holy shit. What day? Yeah, that's the second time he says about Friday. <laughs> what day did you say? I've said it was Friday multiple times today. Oh man! Yep. <laughs> uh, time has become irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long fucking week. <laughs> it has. <laughs> Thank you. Brian Zepke says, "What kind of goal would I'm you actually- take for?" Go ahead. I was going to say, I'm actually not so high that I don't know what day it is. I'm just so old that I don't know what day it is. Yeah. Brian Zepke says, what kind of goal would it take for everyone on screen to don the Dillahunty look? Like 50,000. You got to buy us all a car, basically. Yeah, a, I don't know that you could buy Arn. Arn's not going to shave his head <laughs> to try to look like me. Yep. Okay, but yep. there's, a, there's a dollar much amount. Much love to Matt and all, but I'm not going to emulate. How much? There's always a number. Like a million dollars, would you shave your head? Ooh, yeah. For, okay, so a million's yeah. obvious. Two fifty. Right, so you're yeah. saying there's a chance. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> would you do it for two fifty k? Ooh. How is this even a know. question? I would, I would do uh, like two hundred and fifty thousand. Not only will I then have two hundred and fifty thousand, like the ten thousand dollars of therapy to get through whatever else I had to do, I still have two hundred and forty thousand dollars left. Like Jesus Christ! Yeah, but your situation's different from mine. If you gave me two hundred and fifty thousand dollars today, I'd be in slightly less debt tomorrow. Well, so do some fun with it. What 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 about a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar gift card instead? <laughs> now you have there to you do go. fun things. <laughs> to Spencer's specifically. Yeah, I told people yeah, I would. People I'd go. I'd go full testicles, shave the goatee for fifty thousand dollars. That's my. If that, that I can't do nothing for less than fifty thousand dollars. That'd be my. Just looking like a nut. <clears throat> Sometimes you feel like my price is is decently low uh, because at least bald is allowed in the military. Pay Mm. for my top surgery and I'll do it. Like if we if we get the full amount, I would do it. Ten thousand. I'm certain you look better than both of us bald, and I don't want I don't want you to do. I want you to get top surgery, but I'm I'm going to be mad that you. (laughs) Well, I I can kind of visualize it. No, my and I think you're probably pretty handsome bald. My only concern with going bald is that because I already I don't grow facial hair really. I'm working on it. I got like um, three beard hairs now. We're working on it. Hell yeah. Um, but I I feel like I would look more feminine if I shaved it. Like I'd look like a girl going through a rebel phase, and I oh. would be misgendered very frequently. See, so, I, was, I think you'd look very handsome worst. bald. But I I I hear your I hear your point. Yeah, uh, that's my biggest concern. Too Young to Feel This Old says, this stream is exactly what I needed after an awful day at work. Had to write way too many enlisted performance reports. Maybe Matt can understand since he was in the Navy. Thanks for this. 
Rose Red R10 says, an anniversary gift for the line. Thanks for the laughs tonight. Hashtag Team Arden. Eddie Dean says, I tried Matt's finger and swirl technique and I'm still constipated. Uh, but at least it was fun. Kathleen Moncleef says, I have this on mute in another window while I'm stuck in a meeting, but I had to make sure I got my super chat into this momentous occasion. I'm seeing double for Matt Dillahunty's. That's funny. Uh, let's see. I think Arden's getting a drink and Aaron is... And I'm missing a cat. I'm told that I have to look underneath my desk to see if I can find the missing cat. Just you start- guys keep showing snakes and things. Mm-hmm. And like, I, you asked frog facts. I've got a whole frog growth plate template thing in acrylic. You're going to learn about fucking frog life cycles. How beautiful. Oh, wow. Were they, were, those were real frogs they? or were the, is it a, an they're all real frogs. That's dope. No, they're all real frogs. And That's then you guys good. are showing snakes. I don't have a snake in the room, but I do have this Boy. is the skull of the largest boa constrictor that ever bit me. I got real and anxious the, the, during the pause of, I don't have a snake in the room, but I do have, don't, don't you, you get, get some banned. serious super chats? <laughs> I'm knocked it about. These two middle pieces kind of fell down in the display piece. But yeah, this was the, the largest bow constrictor that ever got a hold of me. She isn't dead for that reason. She died several years later. We became friends afterwards. We made up. But like, she was so sweet. And look at her crazy teeth. Look at how awesome they are. Notice how they're all hook shaped, hooked backwards like this. So that when they bite in, you can't Man. pull them off you, which is what I did, which is why I still have a couple of big scars on this hand where I like took chunks out on the way out because I pulled her off like an idiot. Yeah, you had fun. She was a sweetheart. That reminds me yes, of sir. the time I was bitten by an anaconda. Oh, did it not yeah. want? Did it want? Did it not want none because you didn't have bun, son? <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, this 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 tiny little woman was holding this gargantuan snake. And she didn't have the shoulders necessary to hold such a huge snake. And it started to slide off. I know so that I problem. I lunged in quickly to grab the snake. And the snake caught my quick motion as a threat and bit me. Oof. But how often do you get to say that you were bitten by an anaconda? That's true. Right? Yeah. So I, I spent the rest of the weekend showing a... people the tooth holes in my arm. <laughs> I used to work with this green anaconda. I was green bitten anaconda. by a swan like, when I was eight. That's the same. Nice. It's the same thing. That's the same. Yeah, no. I, Swans are absolutely aggressive. Dicks. Huge dicks. <laughs> yeah. uh, Darren Jensen says, here's $10 for the squirrel over at RN's. Mahalia Yaga says, because I love puppies, RN, please tell us about your dogs J- very quickly. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready okay. for one more game and then to call it a night. I got to tell you. All right. Seven uh, of my, us my is dogs, a lot. Uh, real quick, I have a, a great Pyrenees... A rescue who just got, walked into my house. He was somebody had had let him go, and they didn't want him back. And someone shows up. No, it was the front door of my dog. Hey, hey, you know you got this giant dog in your hand. And the dog just walked in, and he and he lived here ever since. He just walked in like this is where he lives. This is and my home now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then we also have the Dachshund Corgi mix, and they call that breed a Dorgie. Nice. And they're completely offset. One's thirty pounds, one's ninety pounds, but they play together as you as you saw earlier. Just That's and it, sweet. It's, yeah, they frequently t- every night after dark. They they tussle for like an hour or so, and it's kind of adorable. Citizen Gold says it's Friday afternoon here in New Zealand. Matt's been right the whole time. And Jeremiah Creek says, "Will Forrest be doing any more of his I'm not comfortable podcast episodes?" No, I'm sorry. No, it's 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 over. It's over. Accept it. It's all gone. He has the high ground. Forrest, when are we playing D and D? Fucking someday soon, I hope. I don't know. I want to do another charity stream around my uh, around my birthday, but I don't know if I'm going to do D and D stuff. Um, But like in July, I definitely want to make it a tradition to do some sort of charity stream. We're going to do some kind of line D and D thing. I think uh, I think Jesse will probably DM. Everybody's going to okay. get to meet Jesse next week on uh, Skepta. No, on Hostility. Did you all find the cat? No. This happens sometimes. She's one of those cats that's anxious and not very social. So she does like to hide sometimes for like a day at a time. But mm. when you've checked every corner and I still can't find her and there's like no real way she can get out, I enter this weird place where I'm like, it's not possible that she's not in the house. 
But I am worried because I don't know where she is in the house. Especially out in the ice yeah. and how cold it is out. I don't think she'd even want to be out there. Yeah. I don't it reminds me of my, my single out. favorite single my, my favorite single panel image it's uh, it's an australian carpet python that's very wide in the middle and the caption is honey i think i found the cat oof that's not <laughs> wrong time for that joke oh my god read the room the cat's missing Aaron. jesus christ <laughs> luckily there's no way our snakes have eaten our cat she's oh, way good. too big for our snakes but I was going to say you should try to start feeding the uh, try to feed the bearded dragons and see if she comes to see what's going on. She doesn't like that, but we will click the food oh. can when we get done. Yeah, I think I saw her at feeding last night, and then that was the last time she just like disappeared. If we need to call in a night so y'all can locate your cat, it's it's all good. We were only going to do one more game anyway. If you find it, you want to do one more game, we can do that. But if uh, if the cat must be found, the cat must be found. I think it's probably fine. She's gonna, Matt, or Matt's gonna do one more pass around the, the downstairs just to be sure that I didn't miss anything. But um, sure. yeah, sure, sure. We'll wrap it up and go click okay. food. He might click food now, actually. Let's see. I think we have more supers. Um, uh, those are very loud in our in our ears. They're quite. Uh, sometime will Aaron tell us the rest of his dachshund in the snake enclosure. Tell us the rest of his dachshund in the snake enclosure. I don't well, that, that was it. I'm, I'm I'm working on the thing, and I have to go and grab an, another you know tool or part or whatever. And I, and and it's like I'm gone for thirty seconds. I come back, and the dachshund is inside. The boa constrictors. What are you trying to do? Feed it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, he's very concerned. Dogs are dogs. They're they're nurturing animals. Hey, by the way, everybody, if you want to continue to support the channel, you want to see things come out in podcast form. We should be able to get the. I'm I'm working on trying to figure out uh, an audio engineer and stuff. I, we're going to start with getting the Sunday show on podcast form. Uh, and we'll probably just go through the days of the week. Though that now sounds like I'm trying to discriminate against the Transatlantic Call-In Show and do them last. So maybe we'll do Sunday Show, then Transatlantic Call-In Show, then we'll just mix it up, then Skep Talk, then Matt Show, and then Hostility. But we'll be uh, we'll be getting those podcasts going. However, uh, uh, we do still need as much support as we can get over there. Uh, Patreon.com slash call the line starts at $5 a month. We're going to be doing at least monthly Zoom things with different hosts. We'll be... We'll be hanging out, act, uh, uh, relaxing. We'll be acting all cool. We'll be shooting some b-ball uh, outside of the school. Um, and then there might be a couple of guys who they could be up to no good. Uh, they'll probably try to start making some trouble in the neighborhood. Mahalia Yaga says, Dr. Ben pending. I love dearly. I love dearly. I want you to have top surgery. You are fantastic and a role model. Jessica Barboza oh, says, chef. thank you. Hey, y'all, wanted to wish you all some love and awesome stream and so happy for the anniversary. All of you are amazing and have helped me come to terms with the many things and given me so much information. I was happy to celebrate this anniversary because it's funny because it's it's literally like we started the show. Uh, we started the show and we added shows and stuff and there was some sort of stagnation. And obviously in the last month, there's been a change. It's been like a nope, let's do this. Let's let's just become the atheist, the best goddamn atheist call in show channel organization but community hub and everything in the goddamn world and i'd say we're uh we're we're nailing it uh coffee Hell mom yeah. became a member or had it had their second month anniversary and says thanks for all the new parasocial relationships it's a fantastic world i pretend to live in and you're all stuck here with me here's the three more years uh but that's it after six we're done six years and it's no. <laughs> yeah, doing this. We'll get to seven, you know, seven year itch and all that. Come on. Maybe. Katie Looney says, What is everyone's favorite DD class? Druids are my favorite. One of my friends wants to play one shot session with a group of clerics named the Amen. I like uh uh hunters. Anybody else want to share their favorite class? Barbarian. I bards. Think... I love me some bards. Bards are good. I think I had one really fun campaign where I was a warlock. I would, would do again. Warlocks are also super oh. fun. Although I once played a cleric uh, named Hallelujah, and he used Terrible. one of those incense burners on the end of a chain as a, as a mace. 
<laughs> Once I played a barbarian who thought he was a wizard and like had a spell book, but it was all just at- attacks. But it was like a magic missile, but it was just grab object, throw object, and he was convinced <laughs> absolutely that he was a wizard, and it was great. I had so much fun playing that. <laughs> Forest favorite class? That's awesome. Uh, the last game I played was a bard. The one before that was a warlock. Those were amazingly fun. Um, it, I could also totally see doing a luchador. Mm. Uh, a Maria says, <laughs> happy three years. Or something. I don't know. Uh, happy three years. Eight hour forest Arn and guts at Gibbon show, please. No, no. Two at a time. That's the new, it's the, it's, that's it. <laughs> You've all seen the chaos that seven of us have ensued tonight. It's too much. It's too much. Although, I'm, I'm envious. Uh, I mean, I got I got seven hours with Forrest, and that was a bucket of chuckles. And I've done a <laughs> show with Gutsnick as well, and appreciated her very much. Uh, I couldn't imagine doing the three of us. It's too much. On one show. <laughs> too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Mahalia Yaga says, "Now yeah. hair on the couch. We need a bingo card. Love you lots." There is rumors that, that Erica and I will be doing a, an episode of Skept Talk very soon, so tune into that when it comes I, up. I thought that one was confirmed. Is it? Is it still rumored? Oh, no, it is confirmed. I just didn't uh, know what your schedule, what, how you like yeah. to announce these things. I don't know. Oh, I don't care. You can announce it. So next Monday, Skept Talk is R and Ra. The following is Forrest and, and Erica back together. Come watch us on the 13th. I think Aaron is Bring having. Aaron's bringing Bill. Were you bringing Bill Nye, the science guy, with, as your guest, Aaron? <laughs> you got buddies. You got uh, connections. Would that I could. Yeah. I've I've talked to him a couple of times, but he and I did not quite famously hit it off. Sounds like you got. You you guys got beef. <laughs> <laughs> no, just 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 hard to connect sometimes. Yeah. Mahalia Yaga says, D&D is boss. I want more of this crew. Yeah, a good D&D day will be great. We're probably going to have to start putting rules. Like, the more people we have in here, the more we're going to have to be like, all right, cool. So when you want to talk, you press this button and you get 15 seconds. Because one session of D&D will go for eight days and we'll barely make it into the fucking forest. Like, that'll be... You could split it up into a couple different groups and have have one group of Ah, some people and one with another group. I, w- I love everybody here. We just all are. None of us are co-stars. Not one of us. Not one of us is a co-star. Not one of us is a guest star. We're all we're all the main events. And when you get seven main events together, it's you got seven main events together. It's one of the. I've run a I've run a D and D campaign with nine people, not including myself, and it was yeah. a nightmare. Yeah. 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 <laughs> just to just to show what a nerd I am, I can remember being. 18 years old and I had 18 people in the house and there was a large percentage of that were actually women and I, and I was hosting this huge ass game that lasted all night long. I remember the sun was coming up and the game was still going and the people who were still sober enough to play were still playing and still into it. Were you worried that people didn't know you were a nerd, Aaron? Because I have news for you. You started that with you started with just so everyone sees what a nerd I am, buddy. We're there. Tell the, still tell the story, but there's not a there's not a non nerd among us. <laughs> Who here is not a giant nerd? Not I. Yeah. yeah. No. How's the None cat search gone? Nope. Um, unfruitful. He walked through the house. So one thing we do to draw them out is what we take a wet cat food can and we click the tab and that usually makes their brains go insane. Mm. He's walked through the whole house clicking it and there is nothing. So I'm getting a little bit paranoid. Should we call um, it a night? John, were you about to say you've got to go? What were you going to say? Well, yeah, I've got to go cause I got, I need to call my son, but, um, okay. so I've got, I've got to head out, but this was, this okay. was totally fun. It's, it's awesome yeah. seeing everybody here and everything like that. John, when you close, make sure that you hit X and you're doing a good pose at the same time because it's going to freeze frame you wherever you leave. Okay. Wait, let me try. I can do something like... You know, and then yeah, like bring I'm your chin trying. forward over it. Just like... Love it. All right. Get, goodbye, everybody. Bye, John. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> That's such a good one. Uh, 
So that's yeah. John. All right, John. Let, me, let me do the next exit on freeze frame. How do I, I, how, I just, I have to pose and then you remove me. Is that what happens? No, you have to close the window that you're in the call. Uh, R and Ra, everybody. One of the other hosts of Skep Talk as is John Gleason. Goodbye, R and Ra. See, this is, this makes sense to me because I felt like you were mad at me the whole night. Uh, <laughs> how dare you bring me into my own tech nice. hell? All right, that's dope. That's dope. We'll we'll do this one at a time until we've got uh, who's who needs to go next. I, I, I'm I chill need to for go. Me. I'll keep reading chats. Yeah, for a little bit. Hey, bye everyone. Thanks up. so much. It was fun. Love you. Bye. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 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 I think if she knew how long this might continue to go, she would have picked a different face because this might <laughs> no, this perfect. might be a minute. <laughs> No, no, we're gonna we're gonna have fun. We got Forrest here, and we know if Forrest is here, it's yeah. gonna be all night. So. But yeah. uh, right? but I, but we don't got, have any super freaking, chats just, yet. Go ahead. I just took ninety freaking samples of of a deer enamel, and I've got to drive oh these God. to Arkansas now. Oh and in the God. meantime, I've got to write a freaking abstract and a bunch of other shit. So this is what I'm doing now. As you see me yawning and stretching so much, is because I'm putting off working anymore. I'm up for freaking days just doing this. You just I'm, said oh, yawn, so and it tired. made me yawn. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know how how monotonous. Like people, people don't understand how monotonous research is, especially like biological research. Like my undergrad yeah. lab, like we did, I was doing plant toxicology, studying this oh. plant that's used by bears to like self medicate and shit. It was some weird stuff. But yeah, so like we t we tested it on brine shrimp. We were trying to basically figure out the LD50 of this plant. I was like, just every day, brine shrimp, go go get this brine shrimp, grow the brine shrimp, kill them, grow some more brine shrimp, kill them again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very oh. relatable. I'm just kidding. I yeah. It sucks, dude. Just go the, kill some I brine shrimp. Poked, yeah. I put a picture on or a video on my Patreon of like what I was doing with these samples because like it's five minutes per sample because you have to take you take the, the jaw and you do clean off all the calculus and then you change the tip on the dremel and then you scrape off some enamel and then you change the tip on the dremel and you package this up and you put it in a centrifuge tube and then you have to put a package over here and you have to wipe it down with alcohol it's like oh my god just so freaking tedious with every single one and i need like a hundred of them to get any kind of good like you know statistical like significance just uh uh, Brandon Byers said, F4 is Valkyrie. Speaking of nerds, did you actually read all those books on your bookshelf? What's your fave? Uh, so, no. I, I uh, A lot of the books I buy, I, I go down to the um, the used bookstore in my town. It's called Gardeners. Um, and I just raid their science section for cool looking things. And I'll buy like a mass of like 50 books that I hope to someday read. So, like, I've either read or read a couple of chapters out of or like skimmed or like pulled something useful out of most of the books that I have around me. But like, I rarely have time to actually just sit there and read as much as I would like to because I'm in fucking grad school. And that's the one thing about grad school. You do a lot of reading, none of it that you want to do. <laughs> and so like, sure. I haven't gotten to read any it's of these. It's the same about grad school. Yeah. The hell out of <laughs> yeah, I've been reading the hell out of this. It says principle or methods in paleoecology. I've been reading the hell out of this on zooarchaeology. I'm reading the hell out of this on environmental archaeology. Uh, these are my semester that I'm cranking through. And last semester, it was that pile over there about, about fucking whatever the hell else. And last semester, it was those up there about, about historical ecology and environmental and humans, uh, environmental change and human survival. That was that one. And uh, this one was all about human impact on ancient environments. That was the other one. So like, it's just, you don't get to read what you want. Damn. If somebody wants to read something cool, I just got this one in the mail. It's really nice. It's it's uh, Anarchism, A Very Short Introduction by Colin Ward. Great little thing. You can just skim through that in a day and learn a little bit about anarchist theory. I'm going to order some Mexican food. Oh. See, see, Forrest is talking about all the productive things that he's doing jokes. with his time. I'm 76 days away from being done with med school, and I can confirm uh, I'm not doing shit. So, well, I'm showing up. I'm showing up to clinic, but otherwise, I'm not doing shit, and I'm fine with that right now. You're chilling out, relaxing. Oh, I already did this, right. but can't do it again. Uh, 
Rose Red R10 says, can we make some of these freezes poses emotes for the Discord? If I knew how, sure. Hell yeah. That's the thing that those all those words that you just said are are words that I believe go together. Uh, and then 999 from Rose Northcott says, happy anniversary. Big to big love to everyone at the line. Tech has really helped me accept that it was okay to be trans and everyone with coming to terms with being an atheist. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm glad we didn't do any debates tonight, TBH. I don't know about y'all. I'm glad we that, just took the one call. I was like, "There's too. This is too much. This is too much chaos." Love, love Matt's freeze frame there. That's fantastic as well. Oh, did Matt Very come back fitting. and just freeze? Did he try to talk and couldn't hear? We couldn't hear him because I had his mic. I don't know. I just looked up and saw that. I might have. Yeah, that might have been. They're all happening. so intense. It's like a statue garden. This is what has happened. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, it, his mic had been picking up on some background noise, so I had turned it off while he was st- stepped away. But I wasn't looking up, so I didn't see that he had come back. So sorry, Matt, if it seemed like nobody was paying attention to the fact that you were there. Um, it wasn't on purpose. Uh, any more? Let me go back to the screen that'll show if super chats are coming in. Yep. Uh, Katie, do, do either of you have the chat up? Yeah. No. Will you read well, the Katie the chat, I can't see the super chats. Uh, well, the, graduate uh, school is fun, yet, yet it's so torturous. I'm getting my doctorate in psych mental health. I have a paper on why psychedelics should be medicalized. Do Sunday. I'm procrastinating. Yeah, uh, grad school is a bitch. I mean, med school is a little bit different than a traditional grad school program, but all of all grad student programs are rough. And I wish, honestly, yeah. I don't know if Forrest is in the same boat, but I wish that people, like, cause they're really, it's, there's really no good way to communicate how awful grad school is until you go through it. I was a cocky pre-med. Yeah. Most pre-meds are cocky as fuck. I was one of them. And I was like, you know what? This this drinking from a fire hose thing isn't real. Like, it's fine. I made it through undergrad. I survived OCHEM. I survived biochem. No problem. Get to med school. is absolutely a fire hose. And I, I think every grad program is like that. I wish there was a better way mm-hmm. to introduce undergrad students to what it's actually like going through a grad program. I, I like it. I love that I did it. Yeah. But some people might not be ready uh, to, to start that kind of thing. What gets me is like, I loved in, in undergrad, you know, you're learning 50 new things a week and it's amazing. You go to different classes, learn different things, take a test, prove, you know, the thing, move on with your life, go to the next class. Grad school is the exact same thing. You're learning a shit ton of new stuff, but also you need a 50 page paper to prove that you know every single one of the things you just learned. And it's like that, that's what's insane. It's just the immense amount of work on top of the stress and then have to like, in detail defend everything that you know and like that's that's wild and like you don't get to just kind of bullshit like in your undergrad you can kind of like just go fishing for some papers that kind of sound like what you're talking about like all right yeah whatever in grad school you better fucking know what you're talking about left right inside out and everything because the person they're teaching you certainly does they've been doing it for a thousand years and they're gonna fucking ask you a million questions oh god matt turned into ben I'm doing I've been a thing. cloned. I'm doing a thing. I've been cloned. Hey. Yeah, I think med school you don't have to really write any papers, but it's it's a lot of exams and you got board exams during the school. So like while you're studying for your like I think I had 10 exams a week in my second year of med school while you're studying for boards mm. and it was like boards are Ugh. absolutely miserable. <laughs> don't don't that take medical awful. boards. They suck. Oh, that's huge. Oh, oh no, there's this out. This isn't what we want. Nobody wants that. Get that out of there. Oh, no, Jesus oh, it, Christ. It, no. I broke it more. Happening? Oh, wait. Hang on. I got to turn this this one. There you go. I'm so freaking been... done with school. Like, I've been doing, I've been doing school nonstop oh, yeah. for, like, almost a decade now. And, like, oh, I'm so yeah, sick yeah. of it. I've got, I've got, this will be my fifth degree, and I just want to be done so naturally, I'm starting a PhD immediately as soon as I can out of this. I might take like a yeah, little bit of I, time off, but like I'm getting yeah, right into it. I think it. I'm done with. I think I'm done with degrees. Like I, I have residency and then maybe a fellowship, and we'll see if I do a fellowship or not. Um, because I, mm. I mean, I'm doing family medicine, and you can subspecialize off of family medicine. But I don't know. Like if I were to get another degree, I'd probably do an MPH. I feel like an MPH <laughs> might be, especially if I want to continue 
teaching about science, like it might be worth it to do an MPH, but I don't want to go back mm. to school anytime soon. So, yeah. Dr. Charisma said, I enjoyed watching you guys. Congratulations on your three-year anniversary. Dylan, no, I don't have a super chat here from you as far as I can see. Sorry, the, Dylan said that uh, oh. tried to tried to send a super chat and the app crashed. I don't see it either. Yeah. If you're worried about it, I'll, I'll just tag me and I'll read whatever. Bum, bum, ba, da, da, da. Y'all don't like this? Where you coming from? It's just weird. Yeah, See, Jimmy's me. having fun seeing multiples of himself, and <laughs> and Forrest and I are just disoriented <laughs> and confused. <laughs> Where am what I? What sucks? I've, every time, like I'm on the screen, the the screen is slower than me, and that's immensely distracting. So I've popped out my video. So I've got the black box of of despair covering one of the screens of me. I've got the live feed covering the other screen of me, so I don't have to focus on. And then this one down here is like a second behind. And that's driving me nuts. So I'm trying to like hide it behind like the thing that I hold my uh, uh, webcam up on. It's, it's, uh, I can't handle that. It's too much. I get it. I mean, I don't because I'm trying to do something at the same time. And I actually just said I get it as sort of a participation thing to make you sound to, to va <laughs> validate your words. I, I genuinely have no <laughs> idea what you said. <clears throat> <laughs> But that's because I'm a dick. Uh, I'm trying to think of, figure out something here. Let me, excuse me. You all right? Oof. Get it together. Here come the hiccups. I feel so infantilized by the hiccups. Y'all know what I mean? It's like. Mm -hmm. It's not your fault, Jimmy. It's not your fault. Thank you. Thank you. What it's is just because 400, 400 million years ago, you were a fish and you needed that that reflex to push water over your gills is all. Alexa, what's 1920 divided by... Th oh, it's, it's having trouble connecting. Three. <laughs> wow, they're all fucked up because of the power loss from earlier. Uh, oh, oh, shit. Dang. Yeah, I lost power and internet. I've only got it all back slightly before we uh, decided to do the show. What are, what are we? What are we? What are we doing? What are we doing right now? I thought we were just hanging out. I'm I'm building a I'm building a three way crop uh, at the moment to make this less weird. But right now we're just hanging out, waiting for more super chats. If there are more super chats that somebody already sees, y'all y'all can read them while I while I make this thing. Yeah, I'm just. I'm hanging out. I'm I'm good for whatever. But we can just go, you know, we can go whenever. Nobody's nobody's forcing us to be yeah. here anymore. Okay, here's what I was working on though. I was well, making yeah. I was making this. I got clinic tomorrow, but I'm not hey. doing like yeah. I'm not doing anything intense right now. Fuck no. yeah. That's not bad. Not bad. Make a little box bigger here and cover up half of my face so I don't have to see half of my ugly face. And then I'm going to put the little box up here. I hate so I when cover up Forrest the rest doesn't of my face. like his own face. I hate, I hate I that. Don't. I hate when people who are better looking at than me prompt for me to assure them that they're good looking. I hate that shit. Yeah, Forrest. No. God damn. I, know, I don't want you to. I don't want you to. Okay. I just don't okay, want to so see my me. Question, my question for Forrest. So, so yeah. let's say, do you have any. And not not focusing on the area of research, just purely the lab organism that you're going to work with. If you had to spend time in a lab and you had to work every day with a particular organism, which one would you pick and why? Give me a minute. Prime time for a your mind. I know it's a hard question. It's a I'm hard gonna, question. I'll read chats while you think about it. Uh, Dr. Christmas yeah, says, I enjoy yeah. watching you guys. Congratulations on your third year anniversary. Mahalia Yaga says, as a Gen X, I made it through high school, but how do I find valid books and not woo-tastics crap? Uh, you ask Forrest which books he recommends and then stay in that family of books. Uh, no, but also, like, uh, uh, look at the qualifications of the person who's, who's speaking to a subject and pretty... Pretty useful to if QAnon people are promoting the same book. Uh, don't do that one. Kim Olson says, not quite the same, but I started grad school for English and creative writing and I barely lasted a week. I got so overwhelmed. And James Call said, the worst symposia classes were eight to ten papers a week and the professor would pass a jug filled with corks. If you picked the one with the X, you had to lead the class. 
Amber what texted me and said, you guys look like a flag. <laughs> Wave with me. Boy, no. I, I don't know that I like this zoomed in look, getting everybody Good real man. close to my uh, my foe. I, I have the lights up high to create a shadow jawline, but if I turn to the side, you see it all just disappears. It's just neck. No, all neck. Nothing Forest. but neck. Your organism. What's your organism? I gotta uh, know. It would probably be black and white rough lemurs, Varicea variegata. Um, okay. And the okay. reason why it would be immensely difficult to work with them. The uh, the the ethical issues would be huge. The paperwork would be insane. But they are probably some of my favorite primates. Um, I I worked okay. with a pair of them for several years, and they were the sweetest things. And so, like, <laughs> I I know they can be very dangerous, and they are unbelievably loud but so am i and I've, I've i resonate with them they are long and they are strange and they are noisy and they're great and i love them i miss them Ayo. uh so generally we only read chats that are above five dollars but harry chair Sepper says i miss the jimmy bunch and swedish swishiest metal says when did jimmy turn into discount m&m discount great value m&m that's what i am Oh, we're going Walmart brand, are we? That's okay. Right. Okay. That's right. I see how we roll. I'm here. Sam's choice. <laughs> Sam's choice, Eminem. Well, I don't know. What do y'all think? I think we call it a night. Brian Zepkin says, was Tonight good. was a lot of fun. Thank you all yeah. for sharing and thank you all for what you do on the line. Thank you. I I definitely want to do more Jackbox things someday. So if you guys are ever down again, let me know. Jackbox is fun. Hey, also, I mean, I mean, if I if I'm allowed to shill a tiny bit, we play on my trivia nights every Friday. So yeah. if you ever want to play yeah. after trivia, I'll get you both on. We we still. Never I was talking me. to Jimmy about doing a, a whole line, line episode of trivia I'll, because I write the questions and they're mean. Hell so yeah. we'll bring all of you on at the same time. Hell yeah! Uh, Dylan Fuller says, yeah. "Was surprised when Forrest played Bard on the one shot. I thought more Druid, but your charisma is definitely Bard vibes. Would love a line D and D night. It's it's in the makings, but it won't be soon. It'll be later this year. Uh, you know, July. So I probably won't about be right. available. Is the thing that could be true. <laughs> that could be true. Be or it'll be so much later this year, you'll be available again. I don't, oh. I'm going to be an intern until next May, so it's yeah. it's going to be rough. We'll find. I some got spots. my residency contract. I got my residency contract, uh, and I have a. I'm gonna be doing residency until June 30th of 2026. So yeah. here we go. <laughs> the next hell begins. Fuck, dude. Uh, so <laughs> the person said we might do some sorts of game nights with patrons. We will never broadcast. This is a hard rule for me, actually. Nobody is going to be featured on video on the channel who isn't already a public figure. Someone had suggested we let patrons join in on games. No. Not not on anything that's going out publicly, and there's a several reasons for it. One, they aren't public figures, and they don't you don't know what you're signing up for. If if your introduction into public life is something this polarizing, you simply can't know. And this is the same reason why I've had people who are like, "Hey, I want to start a podcast. I want to do this. I want to do this. Can I come on the show and sort of like cut my teeth on this thing?" And I'm like, "Fuck no." You become a public figure and then you can be on the show because it's it's a terrible idea to do in reverse. You do not want to start here. Second mm -hmm. of all, You'll fans don't life, always dude. like you forever. And that's one of the things that I've also found is I'm not going to commit anything to like uh, 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 anybody who, who it, where it's like if in a year from now somebody decides they have a problem and then they want to come shout about take down that episode that I was in. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. I've, I've, I've been hurt too many times to make such silly mistakes as that one. But we might do game nights with patrons. Uh, uh, it just won't be broadcasted and no one, it'll be expected that nobody record it. Uh, it'll be off air and everything. Plus, when you have games like Jackbox games, where it is so freeform and impromptu, having it with your friends who are public figures who understand like, hey, this is not the place to you put your edgy humor uh, uh, some of your edgier jokes, whereas you bring some random person in and suddenly it's like real stupid jokes that are, that are kind of not cool, but they're just like, Oh my bad edgy humor. And you don't want to yeah. chastise somebody and, and make that real awkward situation. Cause like eh. they don't know how far is too far on this. But, Cause like I get away with way more jokes here than I would ever do on that channel over there or something like that. Yeah. It's like, but there's still a limit on what I would do here versus in private company. And like, yeah, 
it's it's yeah it's hard it's like cards against humanity the way you play it with your friends is different than the way you play it for thousands of people to watch in the days that come and a good portion uh-huh. a solid 10 percent, sit there with a notebook and go all right guys don't fuck up i'm watching and you're like fuck you mm-hmm. fuck you you miserable oh, sack dude, the, of shit the amount of people that l- are out there specifically to look for something to be upset about yeah. like that's that's a, whole I like a lot of a lot of people for as much people talk about like you know oh the cancel culture and all this shit like they're actually like and that's that's i remember that old hitchens quote the like if if what was it like if your neighbor is going to balance themselves on the top of their toilet to be able to peek out the window to gaze into your bedroom to be offended by what they see, there's nothing you can do about it. And mm-hmm. like that's honestly like I I, I got forget, I, I had somebody uh, call me out. I did a video about what it means to be a human recently. I talked about human evolution and I showed reconstructions of like other human species like Homo erectus and Homo floresiensis and things, and they have dark skin because that's an ancestral right. trait. And people, yep. I had at least one person get on there and be like, "These fucking racists! You're saying all these the pre-humans were black, and that the blacks are subhuman." I was like, "No, that's just if you understand human evolution, that's what they look like." <laughs> like you notice that the Homo naledi didn't have dark skin because that would have been a derived trait from living in a- South Africa. But whatever, <laughs> this is, yeah, this people is where will always find something to be mad about. It's funny because these are the people you want to say, go touch grass to. And then they go, that's very offensive to the people who live in concrete jungles. It's like, well, go find some artificial grass. Go touch AstroTurf. find some grass. Yeah. 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 Jordan says, uh, do you have a solid source for animals emerging before plants? I found animals B, plants, plants B, animals in both at the same time. The wiki timeline on history of life says plants B, before animals. Yeah, so so the key word here is cells. Animal cells evolved before plant cells. So like, if you look at like the history of life, generally speaking, when you talk about like life on land and things like that, land plants evolved before land animals did. Sure, but yeah. like as far as like early early single cell things, you know, a couple of billion years ago, animal cells would have been first, and then after symbi- endosymbiosis uh, around a billion and a half years ago, then you can start developing things that you would call plants later. Um, but like the whole reason, like we aren't in ice, a- uh, the, the fucking snowball earth ice age from the early uh, photosynthetic microorganisms eating up all the uh, carbon dioxide in the air and converting methane into, uh, 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 you know, ozone and shit like, and making the greenhouse gas effects that we see today and turning the fucking sky blue and making the earth freeze over. The whole reason that stopped was because animal cells evolved. Um, and they get land plants and whatnot. And the, the biggest thing that like balanced everything out was the Cambrian explosion. And yeah, it gets more complicated as you go along the line. But if you just look up, did animals come before plants or plants for animals? It, you're going to get a mixed bag of responses because you're not being specific enough with your answers. And the way people do popular science writing is very loose. So that, I hope that answers your question. Harry Chair Stepper, who had said the thing about letting patrons on, says, but I wouldn't hurt you, babe. I'm a changed man. I've heard that before. Uh, right? Abyssidarian Demur- Demurge says, my name is dumb. Much love to Ben and Forrest. Jimmy, you were awesome. Just take the win. Thank you. I, I was very expecting kind. a fuck you, Jimmy, and I was going to be... Just fine with it. All right, I think you call it a night. You guys, you guys, good. Yeah. No, or should I'm, yeah. or I'm should go the away three white men keep complaining about cancel culture? Should we do that? We could right. do that. At least gonna, I'm trans. I'm gonna, oh, at, least, at least I'm kind of. At least I'm part of a minority. Sorry, sorry. You're a part of the. You're, you're part of the toxic the patriarchy. Here. You chose to you're join the patriarchy, Ben. That's worse. No, see, I see. I just, I just became a trans man because be I wanted to be misogynistic against other people. Yeah. That's, hey, what, that's the only how, how old were you yeah. when you chose to be trans? By the way, just kidding. I'm just, uh, I'm just being a dick. That's a question, Jimmy. You should call into the Transatlantic that's Column right. Show. I don't know if you heard of it, yeah. but there's a show where you can ask questions like that to real Never trans heard of people. It. Never I'll heard of answer it. it. Yeah. Transatlantic Colin <laughs> show is this Saturday uh, with Arden, and I think we're actually getting a different guest that Katie can't. So uh, Arden and somebody will be on. Then on Sunday, Matt and I will be back for the Sunday show. Uh, Aaron Ra will be uh, here on Skep Talk uh, with Bill Nye, the science guy. That's a joke. Not really. But maybe, who knows? Maybe Bill Nye will get wind and, and show up. Uh, Tuesday will be myself. And Bill, return our calls. 
We're going to do a very, what I expect to be a spicy show and a bunch of annoying people showing up uh, uh, on the topic of positive masculinity this coming Tuesday with a special guest that uh, I just love this person a lot. His name's Jesse Jerdak, and he's like the example of positive masculinity to me. Uh, and then Wednesday will be the hang up. And I don't know if we have a guest next Wednesday, but I know the following Wednesday we have Eve of Eva's frame joining. And then that following Monday is when Forrest and Erica will be doing their show. So that's all the stuff to look forward to. Uh, you two got anything to say as we, as we depart? Stay in school. Cause homework is cool. I, I, Jimmy didn't pay me to advertise for him. That's true. <laughs> he kind of did. And I did not get my money's worth apparently paying Arden. Jeez Louise. All right, here's the intro again since it went so well last time. Uh huh. I'm not even going to wait for it to finish. Bye, everybody.